Okay, hey guys, welcome to the stream. I thought we would uh, play Vlad today. I've got a goal to try to capture Altdorf, so that could be interesting. Um, let's jump in. Also, I think I've got an interesting uh, alternate start that you can do with with Vlad. I was looking at his start position and I thought, hang on a second, what if I did that? So we'll see if that works. I think he's got a little bit of a trick start to him. Looks like a stud muffin. If you say so. <laughs> okay. Would Empire would be fixed if they all had a fixed defensive alliance against Endgame? Uh, that's complicated. Maybe. Why Vlad and not Manfred when he is the strongest? Yeah, I've played Manfred before. It's too easy. Picking the strongest all the time isn't necessarily the most fun. I don't really like Manfred that much, though. Okay, so here's a thought. You're at war with Walden... Sorry, not Waldenhof. Templehof, to begin with. But they're willing to peace out at the beginning. Right? You can confederate this faction. But you've also got Zofbar down here. So they give you enough to do here that these guys will be distracted. Now, I think we should capture Eshin first. But then I think we should capture Zofbar. And then, like, just peace out with them. So that's what I'm thinking will be my alternate start. Uh, what trait did we get? Eh, that could be useful. That's not my favorite, though. What about the hot seat? Uh, it's, 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 one... I, I didn't want to continue it, basically. It wasn't, it wasn't very popular, this one, so... Nah. Nah. Bring them death! Like, we'll probably do more hot seats, but the whole point of it is to um, give the others a bit of a shine of, of um, shine in the light. But I, I didn't. I don't. I don't want to take it on, to be honest. It seems fine. It's like big empire and stuff. It's just dwarf and grind. I don't. I just don't want to play it. All right, we'll have to fight this manually, but that should be fine. Also, I tweaked with the settings. Maybe better performance today. Maybe. We'll see how we go. I'm always trying to get better performance out of it. We'll see. You guys let me know. The moustache is a bit off. My moustache? Okay. All right, all right, all right. So we set up for the black coach. Alright, all their units are really trashy, so I think we should blob up. Because <laughs> honestly, blobbing is so good. So we um, we do this, and what we should be seeing is it'll just make it a lot even in terms of how much more damage they do. Because even if these guys surround us, it's not a big deal at all. In fact, let them surround us. It's actually good. Because then I can hit them a lot easier from the flanks. So they got Grave Guard as well. No big deal. Just charge on in there. Let them come on in. This world is mine. Oh, we start off with the Blood Chalice of Bathory. We don't have to do a quest battle anymore for that. That's interesting. Shit. That. Oof. That's a powerful item too. That is a really good item. Isabella von Karstein. Verdant Squire did a two pound super chat, Blood Prince and Emperor. Yep. Thanks, Super Chat, dude. Appreciate it. 
They're like, look, I'm gonna flank you. Yeah, it flanking doesn't do anything. No quest battle for hero items. Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah. That's, that's a very powerful item that you get on turn one, that's for sure. That's a really good one. See this one here, having flanked this wasn't really that big of a deal. These two going after him. I throw this one down as it'll immediately die and I might need it against the dwarfs. Lord of the dead. Do you use Skelly Spam or what is the best alternate in Warhammer 3? Um, honestly, I haven't played that much Vampire Counts, so I would say just do whatever you want because you can definitely make it work. Interrupt flood. On death's wings. Right, quick, quick, quick. Quick. Because they're going to get army loss in a minute. In a second. Uh, in the Pale Moonlight, did a $5 super chat. Do you think we'll ever get a Vampire Coast DLC rework update? It feels like they've been abandoned forever. Um, they get tweaks. The Vampire Coast, I would say, don't really need a rework. Um, so I would say it's low chance, to be honest. Yeah, I'd say it's low chance. I wouldn't say it's definitely not, but I don't think it's on CA's radar right now. Raphael Bunker did a 10 peel and super chat. I thought you didn't enjoy vampires in Warhammer 3 Cheers. I haven't so far, so we're just trying something different with uh, Vlad. Manfred was your first Warhammer campaign, who remembers Fluffy? Yes, well, actually no. My first Warhammer campaign was actually a Greenskin campaign, but you guys never saw that. So Grimgor was the first time I played Warhammer 1. Uh, I think the first episode on the channel was actually Dwarves. Then Manfred, I think. Yeah, I got money. It's still too hot. Alright, capture this. Massacre them. Okay, okay, okay. So, thing to keep in mind here is... Oh, uh, yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. We're going to be fighting a battle next turn, so yeah. Do that. And then, here's the kicker. This is what I bet a lot of people aren't expecting me to do. Approach me. Acknowledge that even Nagash could not better What? My Legend, why? You've you got to buy the balls! Yes. <laughs> what? Peace with Templehof? What the hell is he doing? Alright, here's the plan. This is just a distraction. It's all low tier shit, right? But our true enemy right now, fucking dwarfs. So, secure our first province, done. And then we hit the dwarfs. These guys here can be confederated. 
Dave Frags at a 10 pound super chat. Good work on the recent hot seat, helping the community. Proud to be a fan of yours since crazy early days. A real swell guy you are. Uh, who has kept me going through years of crap. Say also. Alright, thanks. I really appreciate that. I'm, I'm glad you appreciate it. Thanks for Super Chat. Did you record anything from that Grimgore campaign? No. No. No, I, I, I don't keep videos that long anyway. Um, so yeah, we want... Actually... Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, with Vlad, I think I'll go with the Hunger, because we can get Vampire Magic through... Isabella, she's just as good of a sp not actually, she doesn't have, hmm, it doesn't matter that much. Uh, you, yeah, get that going, don't worry about replenishment too much, we'll be fine. Okay, recruiting, go with Skelly Spears. And then, I also want to upgrade this, we want to get this, yes, we want to get that straight away, I don't want this. I do want to keep that. We want to recruit a new lord. And yes, I do want it to be a vampire lord. Because uh -huh, I need him to have a horse mount. Uh, don't recruit it this turn. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Technologies, I want to get to here as quickly as possible. So let's do that. And then, let's have a look in Diplomacy, if we can do anything. No. Oh, we actually meet these vampires. Okay, that's interesting. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens with this. This could totally bite me in the ass. But what it is going to do is provide a buffer to um, Dryka. So I don't have to meet her. Because she's a birch. Alright, we want growth here. Yep. And yeah, next stop. Uh, Zuffbar. Vampire Lords start with a mount? No, but he's the only one that gets a uh, mount. Well, the Necromancers get mounts, but I'd rather not have them. Double stacking Temple off until Vlad hits level 12. And gets 40 relations with Empire. Makes for a much easier campaign. Well, I'm not looking for that plus 40 relations with the Empire straight away. I am going to beeline straight for um, Altdorf as soon as I get rid of these dwarfs. And then I'm going straight for Sterland. I am invincible. Oh, I actually can't. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. That's just Isabella. Yeah, I thought. Oh, my God. I thought I could actually make it there this whole time. Uh, we don't start off with any siege attackers in the army, so you need to bring Vlad, which means that they'll get some recruiting done. But what I could do is actually take Oakenhammer on this turn, because Vlad will be able to force march down there. And that's why I recruited this Lord. Yep. It's okay if you force march. So, at Oakenhammer. Yep, okay. Okay, and see ya. Best bloodline? It's, it's all the same, really. <laughs> I don't think there's a best. Uh, do we want to order this? Yeah, do we? Yeah, do we? Do we though? Do we though? Do we though? Yeah, we do. <laughs> yes. Okay. Then, 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 then. All right. You're gonna be careful because this guy here could reach Oakenhammer, so we need to make sure that Vlad is able to reinforce. What? So what we want to do here is take him out. Put Vlad in there because we want to get that. Let me just make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be able to reach it. We'll be fine. Follow me. Vlad. 
blood on Karstein. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, and then, no. Actually, go with replenished troops first. Okay, there's no way that this army here is going to think to make an attack on Drakenhof. No way in hell. Okay, we need to get money. Kexamar, I did a two dollar super chat. How would you rate Mongol Haunter Span for Vampire Counts? Very strong. Difficult to get it, due to how hard it is to get capacity, but it is very strong. Thanks for super chat, dude. Appreciate it. I am to war. Oh man, everyone just wants peace with Vlad straight away. Darkness comes. Okay, let's move on. So hopefully these guys just sit here. I don't think they'll consider themselves too threatened by Vlad. But it actually should be very easy for us to siege that. I would have done it this turn if I could have reached. You can actually hit it on turn one, but then you don't get Eshin. Yeah, they didn't move. That's fine. Golden Drakenhof. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Let me have a look at this. Uh, well, okay. So you're not wrong. You're not wrong, but you are wrong. <laughs> it does it. It's the same value. All right, because you got income generated three hundred. It takes two turns. Next turn, I'll be able to start building this anyway. But that also provides control, which is important because you need growth and public order, whatever. So it's not like that's a thousand gold and that's nothing. So um, I needed the vampire building built first because I want vampires. Mm. Obviously not getting it this turn. Not going to be able to use it this turn. That doesn't matter, does it? Do it over here. Just thinking which one's best. Fleet-footed would be best, I think. I'm going to go with Death Wizard. Yes. Now you, Vlad, Vlad the dad, we're going to take Zafbar. We want to get rid of, let's see here, free spirit leech. No, that's fine. Now we're on speed. Speed's really important. Okay, I need that. Yep. And we need that. Okay. I am Vlad. So, I could send this guy around over here. Honestly, I could recruit a new lord there and be quicker. There's seven units here. They're going to start recruiting as of pretty much next turn. Yeah, I'm going to need you to go over here. I'll have to recruit another lord. Because I just want to be done with Zafbar straight away. Yeah, there's no lord there right now. I might be able to hit that next turn, maybe. This will probably give us a defeat in order resolve, but I'll fight it manually, and I'm pretty sure we'll have it done pretty easily, because, yeah, dwarves are actually really bad at defending their settlements against vampires. Let's get a death wizard? What? Well, it, it's not really that... It's about any type of wizard. It's more a case of I just needed a vampire. It's, the lore of magic wasn't that important. Hey Legend, a Banshee Doomstack is not working here. Uh, you could totally do that. Absolutely. They're just difficult to get lots of capacity of, that's all. Yeah, Banshee Doomstack can be good. Just don't go up against anything with lots of magical attacks. There's very few hero spams that aren't good. Very few. And just because you haven't seen me do it doesn't mean it isn't good. It just means it's too time consuming I can't be bothered. Okay. So, how are dwarves bad at defending? Because they're slow. 
They're slow. The one thing that you can't really afford to be in this game. In this situation. Against me. I'm gonna set up... Hang on. Yeah, we wanna have that that way. Um, I'm gonna set up... Over here. And when I say dwarves are bad at defending, I do mean AI dwarves are bad at defending. Of course, if you're playing the dwarves and the AI was playing as the vampires, you would probably win in this situation. I didn't write the rules of this fucking game. Not my fault that they put in the st stupid rules. I'm just playing by the rules. Uh, Mike Schneider did a 500 yen super chat. What changes are you hoping for Nurgle for the upcoming DLC? Uh, oh, shit. Um... I think they need some changes to how they recruit. But I honestly haven't really been thinking about it. But thanks for Super Chat. Do really appreciate it. Maybe I shouldn't have brought the coach in, I'm not sure. Oh no, no, it's useful, it's for sure it's useful. Make the rules. Devil's Triangle became a member for 39 months. Don't forget to blob up, that works every time. 
Uh, yep, thanks for the chat, appreciate it. it shall be so. no one Lost my zombies. They were summons. So I didn't lose wings. anything. That was... Isabella five wins of magic. Hungry for blood. With haste. <laughs> you know, they tried. They tried. They just don't know how to play the game. There's absolutely no blind spots in this map though, so you end up taking a little bit of damage, which is why we got the um the trash here. I don't want these ones getting shot at. I missed a super chat, sorry. Devil Lord did a $5 super chat. Anyone else thinks that the 40k total war is a really dumb idea? I hear that gets thrown around a lot as CA's next big game, but it just doesn't seem right to me. Yeah, fair enough. I do not think it's a dumb idea. But who knows? Maybe it will be shit. Maybe it won't be. We just don't know at this stage. People used to say that Warhammer Total War would be a shit idea, and it turned out to be the biggest Total War game of all time. So, you never know. Main thing is to just keep an open mind. Jake Williams became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. There are a blind spot in the corners. Uh, like, oh, yeah. Mm, Mavay, like, just a very small blind spot. Hey, hang on, let me have a look here. Yeah, not in this particular spot. Total War Fanboy asks, will you do any content on Pharaoh or will you skip it completely? Okay, so just without any sort of vitriol or, or like venom, just give you what my thoughts are. Um, at this stage, I think that Pharaoh is a complete flop. That's what it looks like. From, it's from the, the data that I've been looking at, Pharaoh looks like a complete and utter flop. Probably the least sold Total War game in the history of Total War. Um... I don't think it's going to have a very high play account on day one, and it's going to deteriorate very quickly. Um, I am not going to invest time and energy to to uh, play a game that has no future. So, no. But, it's important to keep an open mind. If Total War Pharaoh completely proves me wrong, which might happen, um, and is bigger than Total War Warhammer, I will swallow my pride and give it a go. I just don't think that's going to happen. Hmm. And that's why we pieced out with them on turn one. To go and take out a bigger fish. Alright, now, when it comes to Karag Dramar... There will be a Lord to deal with, and I think a Strigoi is actually really good. Oh, Strong's quite useful. Master of the Black Arts, he gets Bound Spells, Spirit Leech. Four of them. Hmm. But extra... I'm going to go with Strong, because Spirit Leech is useless against Dwarves. Anyway, I got this one here for Spirit Leech. Alright, I need you to recruit... 
Oh, what? Where did my money go? to pay for a non-aggression pact. I'm certainly not looking to conquer down this way. I just wanted to be left alone. It's good. Alright, let's have a look at what else we can do. It is you dare. So onward. Oof. Tempting, that would give me the money I need. Well, that amount of money will allow me to recruit one zombie. Uh, okay, three heroes going up against this is probably going to struggle because that's a tier two settlement and they're not going to be able to recruit anything in time. I can raise the dead if I had some more friggin' money. Zombies are worth a hundred, raise the dead or not. Um, get rid of this, don't need it. Yes. Oh, Legend, you should have built gold. Hmm. Hmm. How do I get that money? Alright, let's have a look here. What if I offered to go to war with the deceivers? Probably a bad idea. Well. That'll make getting into Reichland a lot easier. Kind of feel like this could backfire. Zinch will pr probably peace out with me pretty quick. I'll definitely have to go through Avaland. I don't want any of that shit. Uh, this could backfire, but fuck it. In for a penny, in for a pound. There's the money that I needed. Yeah. Okay, now, we talk to the deceivers and say, how would you... I got a right... No! I got a non-aggression pact? Come on. Eight turns. Alright, I want you to join war against the deceivers. I'll join war against Warhood of the One Eye. Nah. Sell some items. It's turn three. I don't have any items. Uh. All right. Let's have a look now. Fine. Yeah. So that's that's interesting. That's interesting. Uh. Yeah. We'll see what happens with that. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. That's uh, that's going to be interesting. Okay, so we've got one of these to do. Let's see. Character three replenishment rates good. A Sylvanian crossbowman will help in that battle. Now that I got money. Uh, weapon strength. Yuck. Don't want that. Diplomatic relations with the Empire, Cathay and Bretonia. And those are my favorite types of lords. But I really do like. Control. Research rate is good. Winds of magic power reserve capacity is good. Upkeep cost reduction is good. Ambush success chance is good. Raise dead bull for crypt ghouls good. Oh god, there's good stuff in here. I usually go Von Karstein first. But I think I'm going to go with Lamia first. Yeah, I'm going to go with Lamia first. Bow! Lord of the dead. What do I want first? I think I want Vlad to be stronger. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Very interesting. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. All right. Well, that gives us enough money to work with over here. So we want to grab. Uh, we don't really need anti-large for for them. What? Uh, okay. Yeah. Raise the dead next turn. 
Okay, cool. So yeah, this will be interesting to see what happens with Sterling. So what I... I was going to attack Sterling and come up through here, but now I'll just walk right through here and I'll go straight to Avraheim. Why not? Why not? Alright, let's move. Do you think military buildings should give more garrison units depending on which buildings you built? Yes. Sure. Change lane. He's already got a fairly large army. We've got a non-aggression pack with Avar time as well. You're right. Well, I guess I'll just walk right through with them then. Almost not Oh yeah, he's like he's got he's going for it. I won't be able to stop it. I, I wasn't expecting that. Looks like this is going to backfire maybe a little bit. Alright, looks like we're going to have to fight Zinch, which means we're going to have to put this on the back burner for a second. Alright, what do we got? We got 11 units in here. Because this is a tier of 1 settlement. I don't expect that. We're going to need more than a full stack. How would you like to have peace? Oh, he's not even at war with Sterling now. Hang on, what if I... Approach us, friend, and make your offer. Nah, he won't do it. <laughs> Shit. He has Kugath's form. Almost not impossible. That's interesting. Well, look. Then he can't capture Schwarzhaven. He can't capture it. I would suffer a defeat. Oh well. This night. Yeah, I would suffer a defeat, but he can't capture it. The worst he can do is blow it up. If he puts in a cult, I'll get rid of it pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, because I just um, I don't think I can repel this. I don't think I can repel it. Let me let me just see. If I hang on, hang on, hang on. We've got we've got three units here. So three, four, fifteen, sixteen, lots of zombies. That's not gonna count for much. And a lot of these units are pretty good against us. He's got nineteen units. He doesn't have much winds of magic though. And like I said, Vlad can't make it. And I had a plan to deal with this guy here, they're gonna pump out lords. Change the army is a huge problem. Destroys chaff instantly with burning chariot. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm trying to figure Almost out what to do with this. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards just letting them, like, sack Schwarzhafen because it's tier one settlement. It's not gonna really hurt us much. Because I wanted to finish off off uh, Zafbar over here, and if we have Vlad stay here, these we could. Maybe hit him next turn, maybe. Of course, if he puts in a trickster cult, I might not be even able to see him. Oh, shit! Approach me. Acknowledge that even Nagash could not better my law, and then we may speak. No. Try to ambush? It's not, it's not gonna make any difference. If we successfully ambushed, it wouldn't work. Um, hmm. Hmm. If I had all of my forces ready for this, so yeah, this this kind of this deal kind of backfired a little bit, just a little bit. I think that why don't we don't bother with a no defeat campaign? The loss of Schwarzhafen, like the Battle of Schwarzhafen, doesn't matter. Him sacking this settlement means absolutely nothing. So let him do it. 
It's gonna let him. If you insist. What is your will? Because I had this to deal with over here, and I'm gonna stick to that. Wipe them out. Hey, Lemon Pledge, how's it going, dude? If they sack it and Vlad gets into range next turn, you'll get a grave marker. What? If they sack it, mm, I don't think we'll get a grave marker. Kill them. Raise them. Okay, I don't have heaps of money. Big What's the minimum that I need to win this? So. so there are two dwarf warriors. There are three miners, one of them is that, and then they've got two of those. Plus the Lord. I, will not disgrace my ancestors. I think we're going to need those Graveguard. Definitely going to need you. Hang on, hang on, you can be attached into this army. So that's four, six... Get a whole bunch of zombies isn't really going to do much. Bats aren't going to do much. These might do a little bit. And they need to be force marched into this army. Let's see if I can just order that now. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Dino... Dinothos did a $3 super chat. I've been watching for a few years, thanks for the content. No worries, dude, my pleasure. Appreciate the super chat. Well, I didn't expect that. Alright. Alright, we can barely afford that. Strigoi Ghoul. Okay. Need him to be ready. Zinch is not good at dealing with single entities. Not at all. So. What if I force march to here? Because, like, these three here could probably destroy their entire army. I'm gonna force march. He's not gonna be able to ambush attack me. But he might think twice about doing this. I doubt it. They'll usually go for it. But keep a close eye on where he ends up. I think we are good to go there. Yep, okay. We need money. Get the gold going here. And, oh, I've got growth. Actually, we should just save up two growth and focus on um, get Drakenhof, I think. Anything else we need to build? Growth would be good, but money is more important right now. Yeah, just go with money. And go with that with growth. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look, we got a student. Nice. It's not going to make any difference just yet. All right. I could disband this guy, but he'll be he'll be quite good at dealing with a changeling. He'll come down over here, and he'll be able to reach. Because if the changeling attacks this, he'll be standing about here next turn. Alright. Is leaving Temple of Alive better? Mm, well, we'll see. Okay, he's going for it. He's around here somewhere. Now, thing to note is that he can't go into ambush stance. Like, he'll be hidden, but he can't actually ambush. They have a zero, I believe they have a 0% chance of actually ambushing, so I should just be able to walk right over to him. Okay. 
So, a bit of damage there, not that big of a deal. I could use this guy here to sort of suss out exactly where he is. This will be interesting. This will be interesting. Because, yeah, it'll say ambush failed. This will be interesting. Alright, you. You go in. Look for him. <laughs> oh, you can't with... Okay. I didn't realize you wouldn't be able to withdraw. I guess we're technically the attacker. Okay, well this guy's dead. He's on force march too. Actually, no, if we're on force march, we'll be fine, won't we? Uh, if we're the attacker. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, he goes... Disappears. Because I haven't actually fought the changeling before. I'm not sure... What happens? Okay, let's get another uh, Strigoi. Oh, I need money. Any money? Where can I get some instant money from? You were in Force March? Yeah, I know, but I couldn't. I needed to know where he was. Yeah. Ready. Who calls? I, I am changed. Yes, I know I was in Force March. I was very much aware of that. I have not been in this situation before. I don't know what to do. So, you gotta try things out and see how it works. No. He was a useless Strigoi. I don't want this army here to die. What? Vlad, just get into the city. I know my path. And then you get in there. I ascend. Bow before me. And then, Vlad... Raise the dead. Uh, yeah. And intercept him. There we go. Done deal. Just had to figure out how to go about it. Thank you very much. Oh, hang on, what was that defeat trait? Final trick, post-battle chance of... Stealing a magic... Hmm, it's not very good. Uh, it's, it's okay. Moloch did an 8 dollar super chat. Hi, Mr. of Total War. What's your thought on the actual tabletop game? There's a new edition of Old World coming out too, which is exciting. I, I don't play tabletop. It, it's great that there is tabletop, but I don't play it. Thanks for the super chat though, appreciate it. And for the Strigoi. Yeah, it's random fucking Strigoi, who cares? <laughs> it's, that's what they're there for, to, to die so I can do what I want to do. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Well. We'll take attrition going... Okay. Alright, I think you should spend one turn recovering in here. And same thing with you. Come on down. We are in agreement. Ready. Let's get rid of that. No, keep the, yeah, get rid of these. Get, get, mm. get rid of this. It is night. Light. Now, I believe that the deceivers are, yeah, they're a horde and they cannot actually be wiped out. It's like impossible. And there is a... Yes, there is a cult here now. But if it's a symbiotic cult, that could actually benefit us. <laughs> so, it actually isn't the worst thing that it's there. Okay, there's no need to repair that. We can still get full value out of it. Repairing that. Got a bit of money. Yeah, look, we don't have the money building edition, so let's upgrade that. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we need to start making our way through Averland. We'll... Yeah. 
I think these I beginning non-aggression packs is a bit annoying. What do you want? So we'll have to just walk right through here and go straight to um, Balthazar Guild. Or we could go through here. Hey, could you join Why war against the deceivers? It's kind of weird that you didn't. No, not yet. Uh, oh, what about you? What about you? You join war against the deceivers. Others who have no. Okay. So we can't. We can't declare war on Karl Franz just yet. Because of that stupid non-aggression pack. So we got to spend about 15 turns doing something. So... Wissenland and Soland seem like about 15 turns worth of work. The world will drown in blood. King of Dark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. And here, yeah, I'm just lacking funds at the moment. Need to find another enemy to pound. So I reckon next turn we force march to here. We'll take some attrition, but that's okay. It's okay. Yeah, we gotta get to Balthazar Geld. Alright, let's have a look in diplomacy and move on to the next turn. Yes. Always scheming. Should I repair this? I'm not gonna have the money needed to build it up next turn, so I say just let it repair repair on its own. It's not making that much yeah, just uh, let it repair on its own. Because I need to save up money. Speaking of which, if I need to save up money, maybe I should actually get rid of this guy. Yeah, look, let's get rid of him and his stupid zombies. That'll be fine on his own. That'll get make us a whole bunch of money. Also, how much was this? 1800 Okay, if that's 1800 And if we repair this, I won't have 1800 next turn. Unless I disband some more units, which I guess I could, because the zombies can just be replaced anywhere. The world will drown in blood. How am I going to get the money needed to upgrade this next turn? How? All right, look, I will repair it, and we'll just see what we can find. If we can't find anything, then we'll just have to wait another turn. No big deal. Just curious, how do you actually know his ambush chance was low? I have played the um the deceivers but i've never gone up against the deceivers so i know that when i was playing as the deceivers not once did i ever ambush someone when i wasn't in ambush stance and i knew that he wouldn't have had enough movement for ambush stance i knew it why aren't you demolishing the garrison building in schwarzhaven for money that's not a garrison building that's the barracks so this gives me skeleton spears which you're right i don't need that there anymore you're you're right Yes. That still won't make me enough, but you're right. I will do that. And I'll make that money as well. Okay, let's move on. Join horse for money? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I often see you prioritize max HP in the yellow line. Is there a reason that that would give more survivability than melee defense? Okay, so melee defense blocks melee attacks. Hit points kind of block melee attacks as well, but they block every kind of damage. Will resist every type of damage. Yes, we do need growth, and I don't want to spend money. A quest has been issued, mighty lord. A great adventure Am I going to set up a blood kiss cheese? Um, for while the potential I'll think about it. It's not really that important in Warhammer 3. Are the perils. Hey, look. Marker. Okay. Alright, well, if I fail in my next task, then at least I'll know there's stuff to do there. I am invincible. Hmm...
good. All right, well, let's skedaddle, because, um, yeah, okay. The sooner we get there, the better. Dark days indeed, when vampires come to pay social calls. Hmm. I need you to go to war with the deceivers. Ooh, that's not a terrible thing. Uh, looking at the Deceivers, by the way. Deceivers. they I don't think he's recruited another army. I feel like when he gets wiped out, he never recruits another one, but I'm not entirely sure. Vlad can solo that quest. Yeah, I probably should have done that. That would have given me enough money. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I've got enough money. I've got enough. It's all good. It's all good. All good. Thank you. Alright, cool. Alright, I don't have money for that, but at least we're making some income, so that's okay. I wonder what they're doing here. We can get a rough idea of what they're doing based on... Because there's definitely a Zinch cult there. It's definitely there. Yeah, when we see a like a difference to the income, whether it be positive or negative, we'll know if it's symbiotic or parasitic. If it's parasitic, we get rid of it. If it's symbiotic, leave it. It's good. <laughs> it boosts us. Okay, let's move on. Also, how has the performance been? I don't have any dropped frames in terms of my internet, and how's has it been laggy at all? Because I really spent a bit of time today trying to figure out what I could do to improve the lagginess, because people have been complaining about it for so long. I am getting a new computer, it'll come. But until then, let's just try to get the performance to be the best as possible. How's the lag been? Ooh. Yeah, that's not that big of a deal. I'll take it. <laughs> Pretty decent? Okay, that's good. That's good. Good to know. Alright, so Chaos Corruption is only going up by plus five for how long? Three turns. So that's a little bit of public order problems. That's it. Next to nothing. Okay. Oh, look at this. We're not taking attrition for some reason. That's weird. That used to allow us replenishment in... Why doesn't that enable replenishment? Bug! Give me a reason why Gehenna's hounds should not pursue you. Mm. Alright, Balthazar Gelt. He is equal strength. Fair fight. Okay. Fair fight. Alright, I have two horses. Okay. What level are you? By the Comet, Lord of the Night. Okay. Vamp corruption too low to replenish. Okay, fair enough. Well, at least I'm not taking attrition, so that's that's fine. All right, over here we got a nice big payout from Bellicor, I guess. Let's get money and money, and then also some growth. So that's good. What else are we doing? It's all good. All right, let's have a little look in diplomacy. All right. Yep, it's all fine. Oh yeah, I wanted to get Sterling to go to war with the Deceivers. Ah, no. rip off! Indeed. Do it. That'll make them like me even more. Quest battle? No, I didn't do a quest battle right before a big battle. No. As soon as they had a whiff that power could be had, so be it. Okay, cool. 
Uh, yeah, if the deceivers show up again, they've got other targets. Again, looking at this, yeah, that's no, fine. Okay, what's this? Stoland? It is. Okay, interesting. Now, Balthazar Gelt, I want you to stay exactly where you are. You're in the perfect spot to get smashed. Tain Gaming chucking in a $20 super chat. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Most fun Chaos Lord? Yeah, definitely Bellacor. Why not build passes also gives golden growth? Oh, man. I tell you what, I it, really showing how little I've played vampire accounts lately. No, it provides income and control, but this provides more. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're actually not wrong. But that provides more money. We'll have another build slot soon, and I'll pop it in there. But yeah, you weren't wrong. But it also doesn't matter. Okay, we're trying to get to Puppet Master, which means we have to go through here. No peace, just war. Unstoppable. I agree. Okay. Interesting. The Bright Order are seeking targets for their initial. Not likely. Yes, Sterling actually stayed because <laughs> they actually I like us. Unstoppable. Can we get a trade agreement with them? You may deliver Almost. your message. Interesting. King of Dark. I could hit that first. Because we need to be making our way up through here. That'll give me a bit of opportunity to get some experience. But nah, just go for this. There is someone there. Alright, looking at this map here. Let's have a look. One cavalry. Two cavalry. Why is he carrying cavalry? You know why. <laughs> yeah, we got this. Also, guys, I put a poll on the channel. Um, in, like, the community section. Who is the rightful emperor? Where it says, some guy named Carl... And then Vlad von Karstein. And 38% of you guys have voted for Vlad. And only 62... Sorry, 62% voted for Carl. 38% voted for Vlad. Um, if there were more votes for Vlad than for Carl, I will not stop this campaign until I have captured Altdorf. But that being said, that's a pretty significant difference. And even if every single one of you went and voted right now, you probably wouldn't make that much of a difference. Unless every single one of you are also voting for Carl. And you switch to votes. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That's a silly request. Uh, Butulwani, I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. 50 PLN Super Chat. Hi Legend, do you consider zigzag movement micro to avoid arrows? A good or bad mechanic in Total War? Cheesy maybe, even if yes, still too harmful not to use. Uh, it's fine. Why would that... What? It's not cheese. That's just it's just it's just maneuvering. But yeah, thanks for super chat. Um, I no. It's just maneuvering. von <laughs> All right, what are we doing? I'm not bringing this one in this time because it'll definitely get killed if I do. Towers are low tier. We need to go that way. With haste. I usually go this way. Alright, time to embarrass some AI.
But yeah, I do appreciate the super chat. I just want to make that note. I just, I just think it's a bit ridiculous to think that zigzagging is cheese. I guess it's only not cheese if you take an arrow straight to the face. I don't know. I just, I just think it's pretty obvious that you want to try to make your movement as random as possible when you're getting shot <laughs> to make it. Legend, do you think taking cover in, in first person shooter games is cheese? You should just stand out in the open and get shot in the face. I don't know. You just, you, you, nobody wants to get shot. Of course, he's going to try to dodge. <laughs> nobody wants to get shot. Do you think building a trench in World War One was cheese? It prevented them from getting shot. <laughs> I don't know. Just. Uh... No, I do. I do really appreciate super chat. I just. Oh my god. Sorry. I just. I feel bad. I'm. I'm taking. I'm taking the piss too much. Yeah, the AI does it. So look, if the AI does it, it's fair game. I mean, the AI doesn't do this, but whatever. <laughs> Anyway, this is getting a little bit, a little bit crazy. Let's just, um, let's just chill a bit. Let's chill now. Chill. It's time to chill. Vlad, you get, you're too slow. You got to keep up. Gotta get your stamina up, boy. Or else Isabella's gonna be very disappointed with you. No wonder you don't have any kids. Well, actually, you have lots of kids, don't you? <laughs> Coming from the person with no kids. Anyway. Uh, yes, Vlad, you may fight that guy. Because he's on a horse. Oh, he does not want any of what I'm bringing. Or maybe he does. I also want to point out, people are saying, Vlad's wearing armor, that Isabella is wearing more armor! <laughs> In fact, all of them have more armor than Vlad for some reason. Vlad is literally wearing the least amount of armor. Do you think there will be a return to the old wind system? No, if they were going to return to that, they would have done that by now. They're pretty determined to keep things how they are. Isabella was pleased. So, Vlad's doing something right.
Okay, what am I just doing? And the reason why we cap these other points here is so that they focus on capturing the closest one and just ignore this. These are all shattered, so they're not doing anything. And yeah, we just have Isabella just keep doing that. This will be over in no time. What race has the highest skill ceiling in Warhammer 3? Is it still Skaven? Um, I would actually go so high as to say that it might be Corn has the highest skill ceiling. You can become amazing at Corn if you're if you put a lot enough effort into it. If anything, I think Balthazar Gel just bombed his own units. Oh look, they're coming around this way. Are they going to get there in time? Yeah, if I was these guys, I'd get a move on it. Yeah, you're running out of time. <laughs> cool! I, I wasn't worried. Wind of Death doesn't kill models in Warhammer 3. It's so weird seeing 120 out of 120 Empire Fall Footmen with 120 hit points run away. Yeah, so in order to get Wind of Death to one-shot kill those units, you need to have Spell Mastery. Cav Micro Bretonia? Nah. Nah, it's not that hard. And now she should. Yep, she's got a horse. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I didn't put a point into that, did I? Eh, must have. It's not, not necessarily the wrong thing to do. Yeah, getting immortal will. Yeah, the, the, let's do that. Good amount of um, healing from that. Still want you to get your magic done because Pit of Shades is awesome. Okay. Cool. Good start to this war, I think. And we're on our way to Altdorf. Yeah, because that's got iron. Do that one first. Alright, if we do this one here, that's going to make it easier to do negotiations with the Empire, but that means we require just a little bit more, so that's fine. 
Yes. So we should probably do that quest battle now then. What? Any thoughts on patch 4.04? .04? Belagar finally got his Grudge fulfilled back and Wood Elves got their income boost from Capitals back. Oh, I was going to play Wood Elves. Right. I need to test that out. Um, yeah, uh, that was very interesting. Um, next, next live stream, Wood Elves. Unless I forget, because I'm forgetful. We'll see. I have not seen such a pathetic sight since my Alright, just have these hide because we don't want to take damage in this battle, ideally. That can't hide, neither can this, so just stay out over there. You let's go. Oh hang on, yeah, we'll just go like this. Actually. Why is that impossible to rain there? Hmm, whatever. Swiftly. Darkness reigns. Master of the undead. I think I lined that perfectly. Or maybe I did. hidden. Just get the whole fucking lot of them over here. from over here. I'm pretty sure that... Oh, hang on. That's only a handful of troops. I remember it being bigger. Why am I running away from that? Oh, yeah. That's what I remember. I think they used to come from over here. Uh, that's fine. of handgunners will be easy to deal with. Right, wait for them to get over this ridge just a little bit. And now charge in. This is not great against cavalry, but it will get rid of all this other idiots. For me. 
How does Isabella stick up to other legendary heroes? Yeah, she's fine. Kind of preferred her as a legendary lord though, but she's fine. You gotta love how the artillery abandoned their <laughs> artillery to go into melee. That being said, if they had tried to shoot us, that would have been pretty silly as well. Such a good item to have on turn one, holy crap. Should be down here in a minute. Why pick Vlad over Isabella? Sorry if you already answered. I just, just joined. Why pick Isabella over Vlad? You could just if you look if you can ask the exact same question the other way around, then what's the point? Belagar's the hottest. No, Scarbrand is clearly the hottest. He can breathe fire. I will take that. When you abandon artillery with ammo, do you lose balance? Yes, you do. Okay, they just got hill steeds, which I guess is fine. Except it's not actually what I... Yeah, against the Empire, hill steeds probably are not as good as Bard of Nightmares. Depends on what you're going up against. Remember when that used to be research rate and reduce construction cost? Yeah. Mm, Vlad's doing fine on his own. I would like to help level up some of these characters though. Uh, v became a member for 19 months. Hey Legend, I can't prove for how long I've been watching you, but let me ask you, do you remember one particular medieval to Total War North America campaign, because I do. Uh, I did quite a few North America campaigns, but I do remember one in particular. Thanks for Super Chat. Appreciate it. Uh, membership. Invincible. Yep, I always love being reminded about that. My favorite. Oh well, that's my own fault. Uh...
Saved. You can save bloodlines, lords? No way. Surely the not. World will drown in blood. No, I haven't played much vampire account, so I haven't done any. Oh my god! Can you actually save bloodlines? Holy crap! That that that'd be busted as fuck. Mm, let's see. With Isabella, she doesn't need arcane conduit. I guess we won't won't hurt to get it. And yeah, we want Pit of Shades, and we want, yeah, you keep going down there. Actually, once you, yep, yeah, that's fine, we're not damaged anyway. Okay, okay, what do I need? What do I need? I don't like upgrading that, because I only get five growth, and extra hero capacity for Necromancers right now, I don't really need. I, and I do build them in the minor settlements, so I'll eventually get rid of that. All right. Yep. The Empire. All right. What are we doing next? Uh, preferably, I'd like to go I straight into Wissenland, but we still gotta wait a little bit of time. You dare approach Three more turns before I can cancel. I could probably do it in two turns, run the risk of a little bit of a reliability problem, but should be fine. We also got two blood kisses for that. By the comet. We should probably think about finishing off um, Balthazar Guilt anyway. Alright, looks like I've done everything that I can. I don't know why I looked at this again. Let's move on. Actually, let me just see if I can peace out with this one. No. Let me see if Avalon will go to war with them. That'd be interesting. Or Carl Franz. Make your offer a bit. Speak. I will hear you now. Be warned, my mood is dark. What about Golden Order? Yeah, I wasn't expecting he would. Okay, never mind. Trevor Haymaker did a ten dollar super chat. Hey legend, what's a Mennonite What's a Mennonite's favorite type of raisin? I don't know. Thanks for the super chat. You can also save Kevin von Lloydstein. Yes, I'm aware of that one. I think I've actually saved him a few times. Did the Changeling just give up? I believe if you wipe out the Changeling's army, which we've done, uh, he doesn't ever make another one. Trevor Haymaker did a $2 super chat. Barn Raisins. Okay. Thanks for the super chat. Can you trade with Sterling yet? Not quite. Close, but not quite there yet. Einstein ring. Can't remember that battle, to be honest. Alright. So, Steingart or Fort Sol. Well, there's an army sitting at... No, there isn't. They moved. It's probably making his way over here. Trying to escape me. Does he want peace yet? Give me. Vlad von Karstein. Shed their blood. Yeah. Not possible. Well, if I capture this, he's only going to be able to recruit globally. Alright, it would be good if we can get Fort Sol next turn. Vlad's not going to be able to reach on his own, but I might be able to force march him there. Oh, uh, yeah, he might be able to do that. So I'll have to recruit... You. Oh, no, look, save this character to use in custom battles. No, you can't use them in... Uh, 
Yeah, you can't save them for other campaigns. Creative Assembly, yeah, they, they stopped you from that one. Fair enough. That's fair enough. <laughs> Essentially legendary lords. Alright, Isabella, yeah, we were trying to get you here. Earthing would be pretty good. I don't really need Occam's Mind Razor. We can always get it later if we do. We do need Pit of Shades. Okay, all well, of that looks good. So this one here launches the attack and Vlad reinforces. Hmm. Our public order is fine. So, I'd much rather just get raw money. Because we don't even have any trade agreements, do we? What? Why is right. Templehof still yes. alive? Yes. Bah. Okay. Soland. We... Did I just leave that empty? Yeah, go with that, and... Growth comes in pretty quick. Yeah, I'm gonna need money. As Emperor, you need money. Alright, I'm not seeing any other issues there. Let's pop down for the extra growth. Oh, I'm getting extra growth from that event. Right, right. That's that's fine. That's working for me. I am unstoppable. What's his, um... Set bonus. Control all provinces, vampiric corruption. Cast iron ring. Yeah, I just can't remember that battle. I wouldn't mind a few extra levels before I attempted it, because uh, if I recall, that one is a bit more difficult. And plus, we're not at full strength. If I recall, the last time I fought that battle, this was in Warhammer 2, I nearly lost it. But of course, I was skeleton spamming. Which I'm not doing this time. Alright, you don't get a set bonus, because you're not a legendary lord. Okay, that's fine, and let's move on. Did you get the two most powerful vampire heroes? Swiftly and quickly? Oh yeah, we've heard that one before. You don't need Siege Attacker to attack the fort? Nope. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure you don't. Millerad Lukic did an RSD 100 super chat. Which race would you like to be released next? I would like to see Araby, actually. Yeah. It's the battle where all enemy units transform into Graveguard upon death. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. I think it... Yeah, I might just wait. Can't you get Bloodline with five kisses? Yes. But I'll need six kisses if I want what I actually want, which is this one here. What? Alright. Vlad, start making your way a bit. I'll ignore that. The Von Karstein. Also, you don't need a siege attacker because you can just get intercepted and fight the battle that way. Slay them. So, for example, there's that way there where she fights the battle and we wait for reinforcements, or we do it the other way. Where Vlad fights the battle like this. <laughs> Legend of Total Order is over. The reason why I let I wanted Vlad to make the fight is so that he got most of the experience. Um, yeah, we find we replenish really quickly. You dare die. 
Yes, my lord of death. Yes. All right, now this guy here is going to probably want to get to Steingart, but he can't make it there next turn. This night. Impossible. Okay, what we want to do is recruit another lord here. I think this guy's back. Yeah, he is. So that he'll be able to launch the attack. Vlad will just rush in for a reinforce, and that'll just be the end of that. Cool. Yes. This one here, we're, we're pretty good for money. Let's let's bring her in. Yes, my son. I expected the von Karsteins to come. <laughs> Sigma's will. What? Yeah, okay, I can do that. You just think to borrow one of their armies at some point. That would be very nice. The Empire. Why are we getting three? Shouldn't we get two? Hmm. Not sure. Does this interception only work with forts? Yep. That's good. And then we need over here... Yep, then we get that one. And yes, because I would like to start getting necromancers. I think I might have a couple saved that are good. Oh, my money. Expand Sylvania's borders. Alright, there's your arcane conduit. That's good for you. Okay, you're on a hell steed. We want to take you off that. I want to get Immortal Will. That's really good. Yep, good. We got Pit of Shades sorted. The world will drown in blood. Yeah, he would be better at casting Winds of Death. Not essential. Uh, Cloud of Horror wouldn't be too bad. Oh yeah, look at that campaign movement range. Yes, please. Then unit experience is really good, but I think that can wait. Yeah, there's the extra relations for the Empire, so that is good. Don't really need that against the Empire, the lack of flying units. Monstrous strength is good. Yeah, let's get mortal levies. Why'd you vassalize Sterling? It was available to me, so I did it. Because they pay me money, I get vassal tribute of 102. <laughs> the nation calls. And this is the Vlad is the, the empire. Will come in peace. Emperor, I mean. Okay, I'll get my money back on that pretty quick. But I think if we wait till next turn, I might be able to get it even cheaper, or if, even for free. All right, that looks good. So that'll be the end of of the Golden Order. Why swap? Did you want to go on foot? No, 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 I wanted to go on horseback. When you're flying, you, you're not able to cap um, capture points. Wasn't that big of a deal in Warhammer 2, but it is in Warhammer 3. Because I'll eventually want to do that at Nuln. And honestly, they're pretty good on horseback, so... It's just so I don't forget about it. Alright, all of this seems fine. I think just leave the green skins alone. Let's move on. Do you use the ranged mortal units? I use them as emergency, like regiments of renown. Um, but not in my standing armies. Why does the AA always get more trade value? They don't. It's just because he has trade resources and I don't. Oh shit, you did what I didn't exp- Oh, you're going for the moot. No. You going for Schwarzhafen? I thought he'd go for the other place. Now that army's not very good though. We need to cancel that non-aggression pact. I probably should have done it this turn. Thou hast nothing to offer me. 
No, if I do this, then Belagar will be annoyed at me, and he's going to take these guys out, so just forget about them. I don't want to piss off Belagar right now. Okay, it's turn 11. We can now cancel the, the agreements. Where do I got wiped out? Oh no! No, that was quick. How dare you duck in my. No, but I only just got here. <laughs> Shit. That. Yeah, okay. I wasn't expecting that to happen that quickly. Alright, are you at War with Sterling? Yeah, you are. But you'll go first, so if you attack the Moot, you're not gonna attack the Moot, you're gonna attack Schwarzhafen. You've got 9 units, not great units, and I've got 11 units, not great units. A Lord in here will make all the difference. Because we just need someone to smack him around, that's it. Because they're also damaged. Well, shit. Well, you may as well come on and get some experience. Damn it, man of range. If you think it is wise, King of Darkness. I will hear your petition, but so be it. Still gotta wait ten turns before I can attack him. What are you doing? You attacking Akendorf? Alright. I wish you well. Good luck with that. If they get wiped out, well, then I'll cancel non-aggression pact. We'll see how that goes. Alright, we need to put a lord in here. I think a strigoi would be best, because nobody cares about strigois, as we have already shown in this campaign. A strigoi should be able to fight this guy and win in a one-on-one. -on -one. But just to make sure... Just to make sure, why don't we raise a few... Just zombies will do. Just nice and cheap. That'll do. Undeath, oh, we can hit Crystal Valley, but that doesn't have any Raise defenses. Sigma. Might be best to just wait for them to finish building that. Since I've got Darkness essentially comes. time to kill. What if I went up through... No, I don't do that. What? Right, just stay at file door. Ready. Flight. My bloodline calls. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I know. I just I just realized something. We got multiple lords. I got lots of movements. Why don't I stand here? One of these lords can launch the attack. Vlad will reinforce, and that way Vlad can actually make a, a bit more distance in a single turn. Yeah, that would be better. Jar Jar did a THB 179 super chat. Hi Legend, how to make cheese about having more ancillaries of research rates to students or dark profit? Another question, is, is the hot seat done? The the green skin hot seat? Um, it's done if nobody else wants it. So it may be, I'm not sure. Um, how to make cheese about having more ancillaries of research rate? Um, all you have to do is just not be researching something and then rank up and you've got a chance of getting like this student. Um, it's not worth making a video on or anything. Um, Slash Mooja Production did a 50 NRK subject. Good day, all. I started my day falling down a couple of stairs on my way to the shop. Uneven landing. How's everyone doing? Alright. Um, hope you can get better soon. But thanks for the chat. Okay, we'll upgrade that because that is money. Yep. I like money. By the comet. Ready. So. Okay, there we go. No, uh, we can get that trade agreement with Sterling. And make your offer. Indeed. Uh huh. All right. Yes. What? What you want? So it'll be interesting to turn Sterling against the Empire against the uh, Reichland. That will be interesting. It, you know what would even be more interesting is if you became the Emperor, you actually had the Imperial Authority mechanic shoehorned into your campaign. Not that that would make it good. Mark Pompey did a 5 super chat. Hey dude, if I'm trying to learn Warriors of Chaos, what race would you recommend? Love the videos, man. Uh... <laughs> Warriors of Chaos? <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. Yeah. 
Oh no, if you want to learn how to play Warriors of Chaos, you got to know how to play Skaven. They play nothing alike. Uh, yeah, usually if you're trying to learn how to play a race, playing that race is how you learn. Um, yeah, that would be the best way. Uh, I appreciate the super chat, thank you. Alright, I... He's still playing? He's still, he's still going! Wow, oh, good on him. Do I still have it open? Oh, it's been four hours. Love that loot still going. Oh, good on him. Good on him. Let me just refresh this and have a quick look. He's still got 19 people watching him. Good for him. Cool, cool, cool. I hope he's having fun with it. Oh, I, I, hang on. I, I think... I understand what you mean now, but it's not what you wrote. You see, race... Race is like all Warriors of Chaos, but faction is like Archeon. So yeah, I would recommend starting with Archeon. I, I, okay. I, I'm like autistic or something. If you write something, I will read it exactly as it is written. So you have to be very specific with me, okay? If you make a mistake, I will read that mistake. I am Ron Burgundy. Go fuck yourself, San Diego. <laughs> so, you have to be careful with me. You know, be specific. Don't leave things open to interpretation. Because I won't get it. But yeah, try out Archeon. Thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. You know, if you use metaphors, you know, my reflexes are really fast, I'll catch them, but I won't get it. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Player bias. Hmm. Is your beard graying? I turned 30 this year. I feel like I aged 10 years instantly. Yeah, that's what happens when you hit 30. I'm 36. And yes, my beard is graying. This is this is gray hair. I'm getting grays in my hair on the sides. Not a teenager anymore. It happens. Among other things. Oh, Sterling coming in to finish the job. I didn't even need to recruit that lord. Cool. I will do that. And backing them up will also give us extra relations with them. Well, we got what I wanted. We got the trade agreement. Golden order gone. Alright. I did not need to spend on them. Oh well. Oh no. Anyway. I have no time for. Yeah, I need to do something about this. I probably should have actually just moved them over this way. Yeah. It takes more than a turn to get from Zafbar to sorry, yeah, from Grand Peak to Zafbar, but that looks like something's gonna happen. Hey, how much do you hate me? How dare you duck in my hole? You don't hate me Oscar. that much. You hate you hate Skarsnick more. Yeah, you do. You do. Plus, I'm allied with these guys. Hmm. Hmm. That's uh, okay. Yes. All right, time to take on Wissenland. Time with petty talk, not likely. I thirst in my own. Good. Vlad will still be out of reach. Dot and back. This better be important. It's very important. Who wishes the red kiss? Obliterate. Give him Zafbar for no aggro. Hell no! That defeats the purpose of me bloody attacking Zafbar. <laughs> Alright, if I auto this, we lose two units, which we're not that big of a deal. But if I fight it, we'll probably take no casualties, so we'll fight it.
If you force march into a settlement, then open recruit tab with another lord, then switch to a force march lord, you can reset the stance via recruiting units through... Oh, that's a juicy one. I like that. I'm, I'll try to remember that one. Thanks, Nicked Claw. Oof. Alright, just wait for Isabella to show up. Surely you mean Vlad? No, we need uh, Winds of Death. Do you think all these new patches are CA trying to win us back? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. I think CA right now is sweating diarrhea. <laughs> if you can do such a thing. I reckon they're they're shitting themselves because they've taken you for granted for ages now and they're finally getting their comeuppance for it. So absolutely going to they're try, going to try to win you back because a lot of people are not buying their products simply out of principle. I mean, if CA wasn't trying to win you back, I would say that that is bad business. Yeah, they should really be doing everything that they possibly can to make you guys happy. Everything they possibly can. You know, within reason. I'm not, I'm not talking about, like, discounts or anything. That's too far. Come on, costs are up, guys. Um, but, you know, patching the game that's supposed to be you know, making DLC for the next few years... Fixing a couple of things here and there. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the minimum they should be doing. That's good. I didn't think we were going to get patch 4.0.4. I didn't think we were going to get the third one. So I was kind of surprised that we got it. get him over here because yeah the more we've got in here the more they'll throw in I left you all the way there. Oh, uh, you'll be fine. Pit of Shades? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Pit of Shades might actually be better. Isabella von Kastein. 
Alright, we just gotta give Isabella a bit of a heal. And then we're good to go. So, I'm hoping that by the time we get to Nuln, that Carl Franz will be so pissed off with me that he'll declare war. Because otherwise I've still got to wait, like, several turns. Do you ever use Flock of Doom on Vlad? No, Flock of Doom is not very useful on single entities. <laughs> I know what you meant. Um, yes. I just haven't leveled up his magic yet. Might be that they put people they didn't fire from defunct projects on Warhammer 3 while waiting for what's next. I don't know. Sorry. I don't know what's going on. I guess it's possible. But I just don't know. I'm not hearing any chatter from inside of Creative Assembly outside of, like, fired people. So, I, I don't know. That's what I would do if I was in charge, but I'm not in charge, so I don't know. Cool, we got another one of those students. Oh, did we get two students? The world will drown in blood. We got Yeah, two students. Cool. Will that save us any time? Oh, it should. That was ten. Let me just see. If I take them all off. Strip. Yeah, it saves us two turns. Well, that's better than nothing. Um, we If we got more, it wouldn't make any difference because we don't have any more heroes to put them on. I am Vlad, King of Darkness. Lord of the Dead. More sleep, Giants. Vlad von Karstein. Do you feel reliability needs to change rework? Uh, yeah, it's not essential, but it definitely wouldn't hurt to have one. But you gotta be careful what you wish for, because you might get a siege rework. Yes. Yeah. Be careful what you wish for. We all wished for a siege rework, and we got one. We got one. Carl might confederate with some lead before you take null. I doubt it. I doubt it. We'll see. But I doubt that. Yes. All shall know me and tremble. I need his blood kiss. Who wishes the red kiss? This night? Yeah, okay, leave that there, that's fine. Okay, and I think we need to recruit a lord here and just try to put some defenses in. Against a... Against... That's probably Ungrim. Once again, Strigoi. That's the only one that stands any chance. And we just gotta recruit whatever we can. Because... Luckily, I've got money. Just bolster up our... Uh, look, this... Some is not even worth recruiting. Zombies will at least wear them out. Strigoi. Just increase our strength ranking so that he doesn't declare war on us, if possible. Or maybe we'll get lucky and we can all resolve it. I'm not sure. Maybe I should get rid of this one now. Save money. Maybe I should get rid of this one as well. Let me just see what construction we... No, no, we're good for construction. And that Battle of Nuln should give us a fair bit of loot money. So, here, we've got to wait course. nine turns. Yeah, he hates us. Friend That's author, good. We will see. I want him to declare war. He might do it. He might do it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to trespass and annoy him. Or maybe just go and attack Kemperbad while I wait. 
But they... they hate me. Yeah, 40 relation doesn't... doesn't fix things with them. They're at war with Tempelhof. How dare you attack Tempelhof? That's my future confederation, maybe. Well, that just means their forces are out this way, which isn't necessarily a good thing. Although Sterling will go to war with them. So maybe it is. I don't know. Think about it. Alright, technologies. We've said we need to go down this way here so that we can get to Puppet Master. How's Kemler doing? Oh, I haven't been checking. Let's have a look. He's fine. Go on then. Speak your words, but don't. All right, got some leveling up to do. All right, I think. Vla oh no, no, we wanted to get monstrous strength, so we need Coven of Undeath or what else is there? Storm of the Night. Don't need that. That's pretty good. But honestly, his army is strong enough for now. This one here will benefit us globally. Magic line sorted for now. Let's see here. Is there anything in this line that's actually good? Do I intend to get those units? No. Not yet anyway. No. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. And this one is not good. What else have you got? No. Hmm. A lot of the stuff's a little bit shit. Whatever. Just, just get it. Good. That'll make you stronger. And like I said, if he does decide to declare war, it'll take him two turns to get the Zuff Bar, so we'll have time. Okay, we don't need this. Get rid of that. That's fine. Yeah, I don't think this guy is actually isolationist, so I think he might declare war on me at some point. But we'll just have to wait and... S oh, I could have gotten that lord to take... Th and I could maybe sell that... Hmm. Should have thought of that. Okay, a lord recruited at Fort Sol should be able to reach Gristle Valley in a single turn. I'll just grab another Strigoi, just hang on. Well, these ones are way cheaper. Let's get one of them. Yeah, he'll reach Crystal Valley. Unless they recruit a Lord there, in which case I'll need some other stuff. Okay, moving on. This one's got a level up to do. So, magic for you first. Okay, and moving on. Ungrim will definite attack a minor settlement worth you inside of the major one. You're probably right. I can't do anything about that. I don't I don't know what I can do. <laughs> I can if he's got a full stack of slayers, there's no way I can beat it with a single army without Vlad. If like if Vlad was there, I could do something about it. I just have to hope that he doesn't launch the attack. Usually the AI are more likely to attack you if you leave settlements undefended. So even if you just put a small amount of force there, you're decreasing the chance that they'll declare war on you. But yeah, what am I supposed to do? Just pump four full stacks out there? I, I can't afford that. What's this? Okay. How would you like to get a war with the Deceivers? Yeah, that'll make them... Slightly friendlier towards me. <laughs> One. We go with Wissenland. No. Bats and wolves gather. Oh, that's right. I was originally going to wait for this to finish, wasn't I? Soon, I'll be all powerful. No time. Drag them to our necrotic embrace. Bring me flesh to. 
Hmm, that'll give us a non-aggression pact. Because, yeah, I'm not looking to go over there right now. And some mu Hmm, that wasn't... That wasn't too bad. That was a good deal. I'll take it. Out of the deal. Alright, looking over here, and yeah, they he has pretty much two full stacks sitting in this area. You are not welcome, so I will If I declared war on Crooked Moon and then asked him to join, he might do because he hates them more than me. Yeah, he hates them more than me. Crooked Moon is I don't oh I can't declare war on them, I haven't met them. It is night. My thralls, track ahead! You are not welcome in my court, yet here you are. Friend or foe, we will see. Hmm. What is it, eight turns now we have to you wait? Not welcome in my court. Yeah, I don't like yet that we start off with a non aggression pact with Reichland. I don't like that. Of darkness, anyway. Lord of the night. No situation for my cheese yet. Uh, not right this very second. Alright, this shouldn't be a problem. We're all on horseback, right? I'm, yep, fairly sure they're all horseback. Let me just double check it, actually. Death and destruction. Shed their blood. Wow, we've gone two hours into this and not a single drop frame. That's nuts. Annihilate. You aren't his strategic threat, I think. Yeah, but we should prepare for it. He's our strategic threat, so we should prepare. Alright. Yeah, we... Uh, what? Uh, not acceptable. Hey Legend, why are you not using agents on the map? Are they useless besides scouting? No, I, I use agents when needing, when I need to. Do you mean using their agent actions? Okay, so that's a good question, and it gets asked a fair bit though. The reason why I don't use the agent actions, especially at this stage of the game, is because the chance of success is under 50%. If I have under 80% success chance, I'm probably going to get a critical failure. Because when I made a pack to Zinch, and he gave me the powers of cheese. He he cursed me. powers with when you make a pact with Zinch, it's a double-edged sword. He gives you something, but takes something in return. So I gained the power of cheese. And I lost the power of luck. So anytime that I roll the dice, I always score a critical failure. So <laughs> yeah, I I have uncanny bad luck. It's it's actually kind of ridiculous. So I I tend not to lean into my bad luck. But Zinch, the Lord giveth, the Lord taketh, gave me the power to manipulate the rules and bend things how I want. <laughs> In response, no luck for you. Bad luck all around. Cursed, a cursed existence. See, I used to play XCOM, and then I had just too many critical failures. 99% <laughs> fail. 99% fail. If you really want to see how cursed I am, there is a Medieval 2 disaster battle, or disaster campaign, where I had 95% success chance for an agent to get into a city. And it critical failed. Cr cr critical failed. So there's 5% chance, 1 in 20 chance of failing. And then I had another one with 95% success rate. And it also critical failed. So that is... What's... What's that? 1 in 20 and then 1... It's like 1 in 400 chance. And it gets worse than that, but I don't want to go into it. I once went to a casino and bet on black 10 times in a row and lost all my money. <laughs> the odds of red happening... 10 times in a row is 1 in a thousand. 
Because I had this, I had this method, right? And it would have worked if it wasn't for fucking Zinch. Okay, this is why I don't gamble. You see, if you place a one dollar bet and you don't succeed, then the next time you bet two dollars because if you win, you'll get your original bet back. So I bet one dollar, then two dollars, then four dollars, and so on and so forth, and eventually I had no dollars left. <laughs> I only needed to win once, and I would have made one dollar. So, it's not a big deal, but whatever. Don't gamble, kids. Especially if you're cursed with bad luck. Hey man, just sending some support. Thanks for your relentless efforts to make a positive impact on the community. Much respect and inspiration. No, suit, my pleasure. Thanks for the super chat. And Crispy Priest did a two little super chat saying cheese. No, suit, thank you for the super chat. Casino, appreciate your visit. Yeah. Oh well. It taught me a valuable lesson. Don't gamble. And I never gambled again. Except on Warhammer 3. I lost that one too. <laughs> I was like... Come on, guys, there's no way Warhammer 3 is going to have a bad launch. There's no way. Ba -ba. <laughs> what are the odds? Classic, terrible gambling law. Can't chase your money. Yep. Well, what is good gambling, by the way? All gambling is bad gambling. Do you think CA will add Nippon army to Warhammer 3? Seems unlikely. Seems very unlikely. You never know. It might happen. But I, I wouldn't hold your breath over it. Is Warhammer 3 bad because you bet on it? I don't like to think that that would be the case. I hope not. Gambling is a tax on the stupid? Yeah. It's alright. So yes. The long story short, that's why I don't use agent actions, because my luck is very bad. I only do it if I'm absolutely desperate. And everybody here that's been watching me can cor can um, corroborate that, yes, I really do have that bad of a luck, where 99% success rate can actually yield critical failures multiple times in a row. Um, Ariwick became a new member, and Nora Spack did a $5 super chat. I only went to Jupiter's once, mate's birthday, was putting a dollar on red, on black, on roulette. The guy behind table was so pissed off. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Tain Gaming did a ten dollars super chat. You should definitely buy a Powerball ticket. Mm, no, I'm not going to. But thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. Oh, look at these guys. They're really trying to get over here to stop me, but it's not going to happen. One actually. Powerball in the US right now is like 1.1 billion. All right, guys, you heard him. Let's all pull our money together and let's buy a billion tickets. <laughs> I 
Thank you. Sieges are done. Pear shades would be so good in that blob. Doesn't matter. We get the full experience for it. In fact, it's actually better if we let them live because that way the experience will get more distributed across the units that actually didn't get any involvement. Because you'll look. They'll say zero kills here. See, zero kills on these guys. But when we get onto the campaign, you'll see that they'll get kills. So that'll actually contribute to them getting a bit of experience. It's a little bit weird how they do that. I think the current math is you only need 400 odd million tickets. Oh, only, only 400 million tickets. Okay, well, no big deal then. Well, hang on. If 400 million tickets covers every single combination and each ticket costs a dollar, then you're only really, you're going to gain $700 million, no matter what. <laughs> Scheming sloth at a $10 subject. Greeting from the land of cheese heads for the cheese fund. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. All right, so that is the end of Nuln. I will occupy that. You are not welcome in my court. You yes, mean you my mean court? Friend or foe. I am so going to trespass on your territory if you don't declare I war on me, you bitch. March. <laughs> Strike out. Just I'm daring him to attack me. Oh, you know what he might do, though? He's besiege a settlement and then attack. Okay, here's an idea. Okay, here we go. Here we, go. we go like this. We go like this. And then we go... Alright, how do you do it, dude? Show me, how do I do this cheese? I gotta figure it out. So I'm in recruit stance, and then I go like this. Mm, is that how you do it? That doesn't look right. Yes, Neferata was right. How do I get her out of force march stance? You dare. Doesn't matter if she gets wounded, she's immortal. Expand Sylvania's borders. Yeah, but Nick and Claw, explain it to me how it works again. King of the if you force march into a settlement, then open Oh, I have to force march into the settlement, right. It is night. Right, I made a I made a dum dum. Never mind. So I trespassed on him. Oh yeah, look how pissed he is at me. <laughs> Alright, declare war on me because I don't want to have to wait eight turns. It's too long. Otherwise I'm going to go attack Kemperbad. And I'll probably just leave her here. Is that the blood keep? Yeah. That's pretty good for vampires as well. Alright, I left my non-aggression pact with... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So be it. <laughs> yeah, well, it kind of looks like Scrag's gonna clean out there. Oh, by the way... Rank. Okay, now with that, we got extra relations with the Empire. So it should be easier to negotiate with some of them. How dare you darken my hall, Ozkiller. Come on, declare war on Azag or something. Leave me alone. Okay, Necromancers, let's see, what do we got? Oh. 
Well, I think I'll go for the one I have saved up, which is Law Keeper. This will be fun. Yeah. Yes, under the grimoires. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, do you have any tips on how to handle nerves in university? Nope. Uh, nerves? Yeah, uh, nope. I didn't have a nervous problem. Sorry. Wish I could help with that. Alright, mesmerizing aura is good. Why not his magic? We'll get to it. Will be done. Okay, and the world will drown yep. it blood. And yep. Hang on, make sure we get that. Draka is done with Ostermark. You're probably next. Mm, well, we'll see. I don't border her, so we'll see. She's not done with Ostermark. Oh, wait, no. She's just not at war with Ostermark. She may declare war on Templehof or on Talabakland. Most likely Templehof, I'd say. We'll see. Is she isolationist? Probably not. Yeah, no, she's actually aggressive. Well, we will see. We will see. We will see. Okay, we need this and this and this. Okay. Are you generating magic? Good. Yeah, that'll definitely help against Ungram if we could have more magic. Okay, let's move on. Assuming Ungram is the one going to make the attack, that is. Alright, growth and end turn. Now, where are we going to send... Oh, that's right. I said uh, Talabakland, didn't I? Because this one over here is... Yeah, it's actually heading towards liking me. Checking diplomacy again. Just seeing if there's anything out there I can do. Doesn't seem like it. Looks like Musalon's nearly dead. If he liked me, I would be able to confederate him. But it's, it's not urgent. Moving on. Recruiting saved lords is a one-time thing, or you can do it in many campaigns. Yeah, you can do it in many campaigns. It's not a one-time thing. Did you leave Templehof alive as a buffer? Sort of. Yes. But I realized that you can attack them on in the early game, or you could just confederate them later. But if you leave them alone, you have a... Here we go. My patience grows short. Oh, he's not going to declare war on you. You're not a threat. <laughs> Piss. He won't declare war on you. <laughs> All right. Well, jokes on you, Ungram. I've got. If I could fight him out in the field, no that'd definitely be. Oh, I've got the garrison here that'll come out and help. <sighs> if it was, if it just wasn't a underway battle, if it was a field battle, because he's only got a few slayers there. Gonna be a problem. 
Hey, what's your problem? Why don't you declare- Yeah, come on, why didn't you declare war on me? I've literally trespassed on your territory. Or go and raid as well. How strong are you? You're stronger than me. I'm so weak! Attack me now! Uh, let's see if there's any diplomacy I can do. Alright. Storm Dragon. I'm fine with that, whatever. For what frippery do you distract me from the defense of Cathay? I will allow natural or gaze upon the glory of the dragons. Sure, why not? Smashing caravans isn't worth it anymore. Might as well get some trade money. Okay, okay, okay. Now so yeah, yeah, I am the Empire. So this. It looks like the garrison comes out to help. So that means we outnumber him by a pretty decent margin. Problem is though, the, the numbers aren't really gonna matter that much. Okay, I got an idea, got an idea. We need to throw every... Everything that we've got at Un excuse me, at Ungrum, which means we need two Strigoys. Fleet-footed's good. Oh, what about strong? Yeah, we don't need speed if we got... Yeah, we don't need speed against dwarves. And then we attach these two. We've also got Regiment of Renown. Uh... Why don't, hang on, what, what does that say? Why don't we just see how that goes first? Valiant Defeat, okay. Alright, just back off. Bats is not a bad idea to deal with the artillery. We do have Regiment of Renown as well, yep. Yeah. That's all my money. If only it wasn't a fucking underway battle. Yeah, if only it wasn't an underway battle. That gives them a huge advantage in this situation. However, however, he'll probably take a defensive position. And in all honesty, grudge throwers can't hit bats for shit. If we wipe out all of the grudge throwers, we can probably grind them down. I mean, I'm out of money. I, I can't recruit any more units. Alright, here we go. Try to ambush them. There's no time. They're going to launch an attack either on Zafbar or somewhere else. Trying to ambush him isn't going to work. The chances of success are too low. We have to go for, go for this now. Now the thing is, because we're playing Vampire Counts, if we die, if we lose, half of our army might just revive anyway. <laughs> so we'll see. Alright, so these ones here just stay back. And we need to waste the ammunition with bats. If they start advancing, then we'll use the bats to take them out, but I don't think they're going to advance. Yeah, a field battle would be way easier because, yeah, they're going to take a defensive position. Because we would just be able to outmaneuver them. But since I can't outmaneuver them, I'll have to just cheese their stupidity. Because, like I said, they're shit at attacking bats. Now, that's a lot of balance of power they're losing right there. Because, things to keep in mind here, it's going to be difficult getting through their units. We don't have much armor piercing. So we need to gain whatever easy wins we can. Doc did a 10 pound super chat. Always wanted to say hi and thanks for forwarding Kiwi. I love that New Zealand bugger. Love you too. Alright, thanks dude. I'm, I appreciate that. Thanks for the super chat. So 
So you can see here they are not gaining the advantage with this. But legend, you've lost 20 bats! 20! The thing is, with each bat that they kill, we get harder to hit. Alright. It's still playing dwarf music, which doesn't give me a whole lot of hope, so we still need to do more shenanigans. Shenanigans. This guy's got Master of the Dead, so that could be good for healing. We just need to get some dead units around him. Okay, well that's done. Let's reorganize this a little bit. I got some Cav. I got too many zombies. Zombies will be the first ones into melee because they don't matter and they'll just wear out the enemy. No sense in using the skeleton spears at all. What are you doing? Okay. I gotta come up with a plan. Ah, uh, we've got the penumbral pendulum. That's the key. Okay. That's the key to dishing out damage. Alright, well, if we go into a blob, that's going to be a problem, because the Iron Drake's Troll Hammer Torpedoes will get rid of us. There's too much ammunition there to cheese it away. Guns will get rid of us really quick as well. Alright, let's get the Strigoi up here, and you, and let's just, let's just see what their behavior is going to be like. Because I might be able to, if they're not going to shoot at us, I might be able to use the Strigoi to hit and run, and just, like, knock out a lot of these missile units. It just depends if they're going to shoot at them or not. So we'll see. Alright, here we go. So top priority, take out the Iron Drakes. Oh, it's playing vampire music. That doesn't mean we're instantly going to win. We still have a bit of work cut out for us here. They are not shooting. Good. Watch out for the Slayers, though. Mm, I'm a bit worried about that. Did you do any damage? Yeah, you did. You also took some damage. It's kind of a trade-off. Funnily enough, fell bats aren't terrible at dealing with slayers. The slayers are anti-large and they're small, and you can put them on top of each other and actually get quite a lot of damage output. They probably won't win, but they'll do a lot of damage. Got some magic, but I think we're better off saving it for penumbral pendulums. Now this is a technique I actually learned from Nerd Rage Fred. He told me about this one. If you get, and you do it with furies, not bats, but it's the same concept. You have to just land straight on top of them. Missing the opportunity here if I don't take it. I mean, bats kind of killing the slayers there a little bit. Just a little bit. 
Mm, against one it was fine. When the other one came in there, not so good. Alright, pull it back. Pull it down. Go sit near the Necromancer for a moment. Okay. That, that was alright. That was alright. I, I think that was kind of just a bit of a trade-off. Um... Because, yeah, they have four units of Slayers. Oh, come on, stop crumbling. It's not so bad. It's just a flesh wound. Alright, what if we use Melkoth Mystifying Miasma on them? The living will join us. Is it still... still crumbling? I'm not sure if that's actually going to rally. I think the only thing I can do with this unit now is try to with. Why won't it withdraw? Oh shit! What are you doing there? Get out! 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 Get out. That was not good. That was not good. Oh shit, they're faster than but you too. Are the true emperors. Oh, these fucking bats, they're all bloody dying off. Of Alright, let's start bringing our army up because this sort of hit and running isn't really working for us at the moment. This will slow them down. That'll also cause them to start coming at us though. Strigoi can cycle charge whole army except for Ungram. No, no, they can't. We tried that. It didn't work. We tried it. The Slayers get in the way. If it wasn't for the Slayers, you're right, but the Slayers counter charge. Right, now they're kind of advancing. Got to get at those missile units somehow. Let's go around there. All right, I don't need the bats. Chuck them in. Okay, take out the Iron Drake Troll Hammer Torpedoes. That's the most important unit to wipe out. Uh, gotta watch out. There's, there's these guys here. Let's try to get around their back. Get through here if possible. Good, thank god for shit collision. <laughs> okay. How are we going here against these slayers? Of course they're going to do tons of damage to us. We can't prevent that. Try to counter charge a little bit. We've got this one here surrounded. And this necromancer, as it starts getting intensity, at least it'll heal us a little bit. It said the zombie should be the first into battle. Okay, just don't let the guy touch anything, because otherwise it resets it. But getting this up is going to help a little bit. 
No, 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 I don't want to fight Slayers. Let's get away from that. How'd this guy get damaged? Did he use an overcast? He miscasted. Okay, that's good. Why not let the zombies tank the hits? Well, they just didn't get here in time. I rushed up here. It's too late now. So this guy here. Yeah, that's a little bit of healing. So if we have a look. Hmm. Get over here. Or at least two units of slayers are gone. Alright, I'm going to bring... it. Oh, hang on. If you stay close, you'll heal automatically, won't you? No, his intensity isn't high enough. 0 0.01 still won't heal anything. Okay, you can't stay there. You can't stay there. At least we killed the troll hammer torpedo. I have to kill two of them. That's good. Need to get this intensity up. Alright, let's get up here and maybe cast Penumbral Pendulum on this. Good. That intensity might help. Actually, just worry about that right this very second. We're drawing in some more Slayers over here. That's good. Alright, I need zombies up. Good, she's actually getting some healing from that. That's good to see. Alright, this is the last of the Slayers. We take them out without too much damage and we should be fine. So these Slayers here, yeah, they did a bunch of damage. There's just no way for us to take out Slayers cheaply. So just take them out of the equation so we can get everything else out. Also, flanking Slayers is useless. Utterly useless. Doesn't do a bloody thing. That's a bit of a problem, but now their slayers are at least pinned down, so that's something. Okay, they're approaching. What's the AI doing? Don't know, AI is dumb. is forming itself up over here. I'm going to take it. And that did yeah, a bit of damage. Considering with dwarfs, you, know, you can't expect too much out of that. Uh, watch out for these two guys over here. Yeah, while, while you're not doing anything else, go and take out the grudge throwers. Just in case we lose. Hang on, watch out. Gotta stop the Iron Drakes, though. Pin down those Thunderers. This is not looking half bad. I think we got this. Good, we got the Thunderers into melee. Yeah. I'll hit my own units. Alright, we're better off just using Melkoth. We are immortal. Where's Ungrum? Oh shit! Swiftly, at once. I'm yeah, have him fight zombies. Leave, leave me the fuck alone. As inevitable as <laughs> shit. With haste. Okay, that's maxed out. Now. Yeah, just have Ungrim fight zombies for now. That's fine. Swiftly, your time has come. All right, that's not terrible. I'll take that. Good, this is working out over here. Need to keep these guys fairly strong there. 
being surrounded by units that they should be able to beat easily, though. Good, these guys won here. Uh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. You do not want to be fighting Ungrim. Oh no, if he touches my Necromancer, it'll reset his Master of the Dead ability. Ah, crap. Yeah. Oh, no, it didn't. They must have fixed that. Okay. Huh. It's really going to come down to just grinding Ungrim down, I think. But uh, I think we've won this. I wouldn't be surprised if the army losses happened really soon. There's the army losses. Cool. We're still going to get rid of Vungrim, but this is a start, at least. Uh, yeah, we don't have anything that's particularly good against Vungrim. I guess just t uh, tire him out on zombies and then send the Strigoys to sort of smack him in the bum. Spirit Leeches? I don't think I have any, no. That wouldn't have been a bad idea. I don't have much magic, though. So I got a couple of heals left in me. Yeah, have all the zombies just crowd around Ungrim. Everybody else just back off. Try to run down the army as much as we can, because it's not wiping them out, because it's not an intercept battle. Is there an advantage to taking a Necro Heal instead of a Vampire for casting? Um, well, Vampires actually can't heal. So... They've just got different abilities, so a Necromancer can also get on a Corpse Cart and provide a hell of a lot of bonuses. So, Necromancers are better for boosting your units, whereas Vampires are just better fighters, obviously. No, no, kill him, kill him. I don't have to fight him again. He got one whole kill in. Necromancer. So, all of these zombies here are... <laughs> they are they are hitting him every now and again. At this rate, it'll only take us two hours. But all I'm trying to do is just buy some time while I sort this shit out over here first. I don't think we're going to get him. But it's going to be the Strigoys that have to beat him, because they're the only ones with melee attack and damage output high enough that's going to be able to damage him. Because if we have a look at... Ooh, what happened there? If we have a look at Ungrim, the biggest problem here is going to be massive melee defense. Yeah, 79 melee defense. Our zombies have, like, no chance of hitting him. But our Strigoi, if they charge in, have about a 60% chance of hitting him. Cryptuals for more attack. Um, no, the poison's not going to matter at this point because he's overkilling these units anyway. It's not going to matter. Not a bad idea, but all I would do be doing is sacrificing them. All right, let's get the let's get these over here. So the Necromancer is trying to keep them alive. Well, may okay, maybe we can put in a Crypt Ghoul. Not this one. It's doing stuff.
So yeah, in a one-on-one -on -one duel, our Strigoys don't stand a chance against Ungrim. He's just simply got too much melee attack. But, while he's like this, maybe we could get in there and dish out a bit of damage. No, I don't have Dance Macabre. Extremely low level army, an emergency recruiting. Okay, first thing, recover fatigue, because Ungrim's stats have been lowered, but ours are also exhausted, so let's just wait, because we need to get, we need as much stat bonus as possible to overcome this bloody melee defense here. It, I tell you what, I really like that they actually tell you what the difficulty modifier is now. Oh! Oh, now might be a good opportunity, just take it. Quick, you've got like... You got 23 seconds to get some hits in on him. Of course, he might get some hits in on you as well. Come on, smack that dwarf. Yeah, we're getting some hits in on him. Three more seconds, two more seconds. Okay, get back. I don't think he hit us. Let's get back over here and just recover your fatigue. Miasma spell? Why? That'll do no damage. Look, let's let's put this uh, out of mind and put that in the heck. Yeah, this does no damage to single entities. That's silly. Alright, just let them recover their fatigue for a bit. Seven here. Hmm. Shouldn't take them too long to recover their fatigue. And Ungram's just chowing down on zombies and skeletons. <laughs> He's so freaking strong. Yep, they're recovering. Well, actually, I don't have any other casts to make. So, okay, let's let's track how much damage it actually does. So, we've got 7,800 here. Let's pop it down. And watch it go up. Wow! Two damage per tick! Wow. Hey, they just grow the nothing. 20 damage. It'd also be good if it would show the um, the stat differences after fatigue has applied as well, because they actually do that in Troy. I assume they do that in Pharaoh as well, since it's the same game. As you get fatigued, it actually shows you the stat differences. Alright, just waiting for their fatigue. completely fresh yet. Okay, there we go. Alright, in they go and hopefully they'll dish out some damage. So, we'll keep an eye on Ungrim. Anytime we see him take a big chunk of health, we know it was a Strigoi. Good. Strigo landed a hit. Good. And Ungram doesn't seem to be hitting them back.
Alright, yeah, we got this. They got this. Just gotta wait. Gonna take ages? No, we got this. We got it. Just gotta be patient. Here it comes. Yeah, he's going down quick. This is why we chose Strigoys. Strigoys have the highest melee attack at, for the level 1 Lord for the Vampire Counts. And they've got regen. See ya, Ungram. We gotcha. And he barely even touched our Strigoys. Oh, it's gonna take ages! Oh, what? We barely even killed the artillery. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. That's the easiest thing to get rid of now. And the great thing as well is that one of these Strigoi now gets Ungram's trait, so they're going to get five extra melee attacks. So next time they have to fight Ungram, they're going to be a little bit better at it. I just want to AoE that blob so bad. If there was any AoE, then I wouldn't blob, obviously. They're screwed now. Well, this army, yes. Of uh, the faction, no, not necessarily. That bat came back. I will take the money because I need to replace my troops. And since he's declared war, we need to fucking attack him as quickly as possible. Launch, launch the invasion. Luckily, the other army doesn't seem to be in this area. Doesn't seem to be in this area, doesn't mean that it isn't. He usually has two. Oh, dear you yeah. Where? Yeah, okay. He'll be back again soon. We haven't met these guys. It would be good if they could help us. I have no time for such filth. Let me see if Tempelhof will come and help us out here. Greetings. Let us not waste nope. our Will they peace out? Oh, not too far off from it, actually. Alright, this time I can only use one of the Strigoids, but this is probably an easy order resolve. Alright, this guy needs... 5% campaign movement range isn't as important as more melee attack. We need to be able to smash Ungram better next time, and having... 17 extra melee attack? That's really going to come in handy. Do you remember that bat doom crap stack you um, reviewed? Yes, I do remember it in my nightmares. Good. Ungram's army wiped out. Including that runesmith. You're not getting that back. So Grand Peak is the provincial capital here. And I don't think these are siege attackers, are they? It created a, a um, corpse marker. Well, there's some better units here now, but nothing spectacular. Oof, that wins a magic here sucks. Get back over here, and I might be able to reach the next turn, if I especially put the extra 5%. But we'll have to... What's with my replenishment rate? Where do I get extra replenishment from? Ah, oh, meh! Damn it. Um, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Um, keep that for now. We need we need more troops. And we got to advance on Grom Peak as soon as we possibly can. And get some momentum. Well, that's good. That was a good start to the war. All right, over here, let's trespass on <laughs> on Reichland. Let's, let's raid him as well. Fuck this dude. They will know on death. Hang on. I can use up 50% of my movement, and I can still go into raid stance. Sleep is for the living. Yes, Neferata was right. It will be done. Dance macabre. Yours is power I follow. Okay. And we'll hit Kemperbad next next turn. But what I'm really hoping for is that Carl Franz actually just outright declares war on me. That's what I'm hoping for. 
Bring it on, Carl, because I've got to wait seven turns now. Fuck that, that's like four hours. Alright. Let's go again some level up as well. Yeah. Gonna need that. This guy will cover our magic. Yep. Oh, he's got the replenishment. Um, Raising dead's good, let's go with that. Oh, and replenishment from there as well. Because they've already attached into an army, I can't attach them into this one now. Now, unless this one goes back to pick them up, which he can do. Yay, a tiny little bit of replenishment. But I missed out on extra winds of magic, but that's okay. It's also a possibility that I've just denied myself access to Grom Peak next turn, but whatever, we'll figure it out. Okay, that's good. What else are we doing? Retro says, love you, legend. <laughs> Gay. No, I'm just kidding. Love you, too. Alright, to upgrade this would require 3,600. Maybe I'll just wait until tier 4. Because that's a pretty important milestone to get to. Uh, the gnome did a $10 super chat. Hey legend, thanks for the stream. Any advice on how to kill Valkyrie the bloody? Playing as high elves on hard battle difficulty. If you're playing in hard battle difficulty, order resolve. Build a, build a stronger army and order resolve because you're getting order resolve sheets. Other than that, guns. Guns work pretty well. Don't try to lord melee her. Bad idea. Um, another thing is army lossing her. Basically pin her down with trash. Have her just fighting like zombies or whatever, whatever the equivalent is. Oh, playing as elves. Um, have her just fight like spearmen. High melee defense spearmen. Low tier spearmen, not silver and guard. Um, and use... Well, you don't have guns. Um, oh god. Yeah, my advice would just be auto resolve her. <laughs> just auto resolve it. She's very strong, and you don't really have very good tools to deal with her. Or another thing that you could do is have her chase an eagle. Yeah, get her to chase an eagle. Birds of a feather flock together and all that shit. Okay, we're done here. Here we go. Apito became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you fucking did it. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I didn't want to go to war with Telebackland. I was, I just, because I had, I had the treaty for seven more turns. Carl Franz, you just fell right into my trap. Or did I fall right into his? Are grave guards good now? Yeah, they're okay. Nothing spectacular. Could you pick up Sok as Nakari? Yes, you can. Every lord in the game can get Sword of Cain. Did Sterling join the war? Yes, they did. No Teleback learned. Yeah, we need growth. Vampires have good public order, should be fine. No, Musulon! Oh well. They can be revived. Alright. I can't make it over here, as I expected. How dare you, Darkip? Alright, do we have any siege attackers in here? No. What about, what about here? No, they don't have any siege attackers in their regiments of renown. Yeah, alright, well I'm just gonna have to march my way up there. 
Right. We'll have to raid. You, okay, what you want to do with raiding is actually move 50% and then go into raid stance and... Oh, shit. Big on. Nah, fuck you. I can beat you. What is your will? They shall despair. Wait, should I go into ambush stance, maybe? No. Okay, so looking at this, looking at this, uh, will they back each other up in battle? Yes, they will. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we should be able to overcome them. Oh, Carl Franz, you made me a happy vampire. Why faction's worth picking up Sword of Cain in Warhammer 3? Okay, High Elves, it's okay. Look, uh, sorry. There are no... There are very few situations where it's worth picking up the Sword of Cain. You have to make that judgement call for yourself. I'm kind of sick of answering this question because I've had to answer it so many times. Alright, it is never optimal to pick up the Sword of Cain. Never. But, there are some factions that can pick it up and mitigate the problems way more than others. So, for example, Dark Elves should never pick up the Sword of Cain. Because it just wrecks their camp, especially if you're playing a legendary. Hey, Radio Nash, how's it going? But conversely, the Beastmen, they they can pick up the Sword of Cain, and it's no big deal. The only thing it harms them with is um, relations with other factions, which isn't a big deal. Uh, Warriors of Chaos uh, used to be able to pick up the Sword of Cain. Now it's mm, iffy. Um, the Deceivers can pick up the Sword of Cain just fine. Lizardman can. I don't recommend it though. But yeah, you have to make that judgment call for yourself because it's never optimal to pick up the sort of cane. All right, it's off to Altdorf we go. I shall enslave the world. <laughs> no. Okay. And Carl Franz right now is going, I have made a terrible mistake. Yes, you have, Carl. Yes, you have. Alright, what map is this? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Thank you waking up and enjoying the campaign. That's good. It's good. Glad you're enjoying the campaign. Cool. Uh, if you, if you want, you can take over after I'm done. If you want, but that's in like three hours. You can turn it into a hot seat. Is the sword of cane cheese spam still a thing? I'm not aware of that cheese. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very old cheese. That's that's well and truly gone. Yeah, yeah. I remember what you're talking about. Yeah, that's that's well and truly gone. I am busy. With haste. Oh, no. They've got freaking artillery. Move back. Why do they target the wrong units? Do you know what was great with Creative Assembly? They were like, hmm, let's make a whole bunch of new maps. Cool, let's design Altdorf. Let's design Castle Drakenhof. Here's an idea, why don't we make Castle Drakenhof and Altdorf look exactly the same? What a great idea! Brilliant! <laughs> Did you know that? Did you know that Castle Drakenhof and Altdorf are the same fucking map?
costs are up. I remember there was a blog post uh, when Warhammer 3 was coming out and they said that there'll be such a huge variety of um, siege maps that you will likely go through an entire campaign and not experience the same map more than once. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of them. Thank you, Legend. I guess I have time for dinner. Okay, cool. Alright. Um, yeah, in about three hours when I'm wrapping up, I'll send this off to you. We'll make a hot seat out of it. Meanwhile, Skaven Settlements. Yeah, every single Skaven. There is one Skaven Settlement. That's it. But how many times in a campaign are you going to fight Skaven? Just only once. They're barely even in the... You know what? Skaven don't even exist. What are you talking about? I've had enough of this. Oh, hang on. I should have done this. This is way better. We are immortal. Yeah, when I've got Wind of Death, I get Pit of Shades blinders. Forget that it's there. It's actually better against that. Elisha Fergal did a five-door super chat. Hey, Legend, looking for a new race. I've done Elves, Beastmen, Chaos Dwarves, and Tomb Kings. Not a huge fan of Skaven, but open to suggestion. Thanks. Cool, no worries. Have you tried Ica Claw? Thanks for some chat. <laughs> Okay, now I would recommend corn. It's corn. Yeah, I'd, I'd go corn. Honestly, I can't recommend corn enough. Quickly. On death's wings. Swiftly. Me so corny. <laughs> Oh, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Die! Uh, I sort of missed my good opportunity there. It's still gonna bounce. <laughs> How much magic did I just use? Oh, I'm fine. These pistol are no huge concern. For Sylvania! Stop them! End them! Die! Okay, quick, 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 get through there before they block it off. Quick. Okay, just stand there. Stand there, stand there, stand there. They can't build it if someone's on that. That's it, that's it, that's it. And thank you very much.
pretty funny how they refuse to shoot at horses, even though they're they're actually pretty good at it, but they just refuse. Tad late, what's going on? I'm claiming my throne. We're at Altdorf here. Oops. Karl Franz made a very stupid move and declared war on me, exactly what I wanted him to. I couldn't declare war on him because we had a expiring non-aggression pact. It would have ruined our other plans. But Karl Franz just fell straight into the trap. What a great emperor. Is Vlad a blood drinker? Yeah, yes, he's got blood drinker, but I don't have the Von Karstein ring. I could get it, but I gotta win that battle, and our army's not at full strength, and that army, that battle's a little bit more difficult, and I don't need the thing just yet. Yep, that was very close. <laughs> hmm. Do you know what's funny? Is that there is one or two settlements in the game where capping the, the, the capture points like this is very difficult to do. And one of them is a Dark Elf settlement. So Dark Elf settlements have two variants. The other one is actually a high elf slash greenskin settlement. Can you believe it or not? <laughs> the greenskins share a layout with the high elves. Um, that one is difficult, but yeah, the dark elf one is the most difficult one to do this with because they it they can respond to it very quickly. There are so many maps though that the AI can't respond to this kind of shenanigans quickly enough. Alright. I thirst. No, this will weaken. Alright, that is good. I am invincible. So this war has kinda of not really gone in Carl Franz's favour so far. Old so Middenland, how do you feel about me? But I'm the Emperor! A curse upon the empire for centuries. What do you want? Cre I'm the emperor now. Uh, what do we have to do to become Darkness. true emperor? All right. So this one over here, diplomatic relations plus study with the empire, but that requires tier five settlement. Uh, this building here is useless. Don't build that in major settlement. Same thing there. Don't need it. Uh, yeah, I don't need it. Um, pottery, yes, but maybe. Hang on. Yeah. What else do we have? Well, if we're going to get this to tier 5, might be a good idea to grow it. Money's fine at the moment, and we'll have new slots come in soon. Lord of the dead. So, this has got five settlements. One, two, three, four. You dare approach me. Oh, <laughs> he owns Midland. 
Okay, that's probably where Carl Franz is. Oh, that reminds me. We don't only got 14 units in here. We're probably going to come under attack. We should probably build extra defenses here. It's not heaps, but I, I do expect a counterattack. Do you know what I could do? I could capture Karaburg and sell it back to Weiss, uh, to Midland, and maybe get them to. Well, we'll see. Yes. Sigma's whip or darkness. I am changed. Can you ask Toddy to cancel their agreements with Reichland? I, I doubt that he will, but let's have a look. Make your offer and be done. Yeah, no. Nah. He won't do it. No. Uh, growth in this province is not that essential. More money is better. Oh yeah, I was supposed to check this. Let's have a look. Because we've got a um, a cult here. At Schwarzhafen, they... Oh look, plus 20%. They've got a symbiotic building here. Wait. No. I researched something for that. Yeah, income from repression building. No, no, they don't have a um a building there yet. Maybe they haven't gone parasitic either because we would see a negative from that. Maybe the AI doesn't even do anything with the cults. I don't know. All right. Let's get That would be good if we went up against more flying units. Uh, let's get his magic sorted a little bit. So yeah, let's do that. Altdorf has a unique colleges of magic for vampires, not listed as landmark. Ooh, really? wow. Oh yeah, yeah, that's not that big of a deal though. That's a yeah, that's that's not that special because getting extra hero capacity for necromancers is actually really easy. Getting research rate is actually quite easy, so not that big of a deal. But yeah, thanks for letting me know. That's interesting. Hey, do you? You dare. Sigma's will. Do you want to join war against Reichland? Now, what brings you no. here with a sheath blade? All right. Can you put heroes in Discover to see what they're built that way? Uh, I did have a whole bunch of heroes here, but we didn't discover it. It's not essential to worry about it because it seems like with the Deceivers, oh, once you've wiped see. out his army, he just never builds it up again. Like he's just. Wise to show you. It hasn't done anything since. The AI doesn't know how to play the deceivers. So we can just ignore them. They're essentially defeated. If they don't make any armies, who cares? Yeah, I guess I could build the, the building to detect it. But I'm curious to see what they'll do with it. Alright, uh, we've got to... Hang on, what's what's going on here? Yeah, he, it's weird if we got an actual friendship with them. So trade agreements. Mm, no, they won't do it. Mm. Oh, that's right, because I gave him a gift. That's eventually going to expire. Hang on, hang on. There's this settlement over here. I could go and capture that and sell it to him. For more friendship. That would be interesting to actually have tree man. <laughs> that doesn't matter. 
Well, Storm of the Night, it's um, it's like that high magic spell Tempest, but reskinned. It's pretty good against it's good against flying units. It's only good good against flying units. Can't use it on anything else. But since I don't anticipate going up against got a lot of flying units, that's why I'm not really bothering with it right now. I used a cheat to piece out Changeling at turn 50 or so, and he had like 2 million gold. <laughs> God damn. Alright, he's... Yeah, yeah, they're coming in for fighting. I'll see if um, Festus wants to join in on this. The whims of thine watery mistress out of little cotton. Well, he recognizes me as the Emperor. Interesting. Well, we get a trade agreement as well. Interesting. Okay. I kind of do feel like the Emperor. <laughs> Where are you going? Sad that the change thing doesn't work correctly. Yeah, well, you know, costs are up. Yeah, minus five relations is not a big deal. Yeah, we cannot let this continue. We've got to get in there. Ooh. 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 If they sally out against us, I think it'll be tough, but I think we can win because they've got limited area of effect and we do have we do have Penumbra's Pendulum. But we also don't have shit. I gotta back off. Got an idea. If we besiege it in channeling stance, we'll actually continue to gain magic. Yep, cool. And you come in here. Your magic count doesn't matter as much. Are we generating... Oh, we are generating replenishment. Okay, nice. Okay. Well then... Make a switcheroo with a healthy unit. You know what? I'm gonna recruit another Strigoi here. What about how fast are they? Lamian? No. Fleet-footed. That's exactly what I need. I'll take that. Uh, although this guy will probably have to force march, which will defeat the purpose. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just do it. Okay. So is this Carl? Yeah. Sigma. No. Hmm. This guy can't make it back anywhere. Seems like I might not actually need this, because if I take out these two armies, he's going to have nothing left. So what I was thinking was sending this one up here to occupy this settlement. Need to make sure that that one doesn't have anyone in it. It doesn't. Okay. It will be done. To sell this to Arguilon for more friendship. Cower before me. Do not take me for a fool. Do not take him for a fool. I mean, he did fall right into our trap. No, let's we'll fight this manually. All right, there is the only thing that we have to be worried about is the mortar. Carl friends, is that Galmarez? No. Okay. Hmm. They're lacking anti-large. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we just charge straight into him with the heroes. Will you live stream Mana Lords when it comes out? I played the demo and I don't think it makes for very in interesting content to um, to live stream. That being said, the demo didn't have any of the battles, so we'll just wait and see with Mana Lords. Um, it's definitely like a good game, but I don't think it's a Total War killer. I'd love for a Total War killer to come out. And what I mean by Total War killer is basically a game that's exactly the same as Total War, but not called Total War to kill Total War. Because if if Creative Assembly had some competition, they'd actually try a bit harder. But because they don't have any competition, they don't try very hard at all. Which is why we've got situation that we've currently got. Okay, so all we need to do is just rush right at them. I don't think there's anything they can do about it. If we just charge in. They just don't have anything that's good at killing our heroes. Except for guns. But they're not going to use them. So is Vlad campaign better than Manfred? Yes, I am enjoying this more than Manfred's campaign because I'm actually doing interesting things. Like having Sterland as a vassal, that was interesting. I find that, I think that Manfred just has really boring enemies. Good, 30,000 damage with her. Do you think Warhammer 2 is better than 3, given the recent issues? So, comparing Warhammer 2 and 3 is kind of difficult. Let me put it this way. If you had the exact same amount of content that's in Warhammer 3, that was in Warhammer 2, Warhammer 2 would be a better game. In my opinion. The, but Warhammer 3 is a better game, because it has more stuff in it. There are some quality life improvements in Warhammer 3, for sure, but I think that the stuff that it went backwards on, like AI, for example, and the Siege rework, um, is not good. That being said, Diplomacy and the item system is much better in Warhammer 3. So it's, it's not simply a case of one game is better than another, it also depends on which one you value more than the other, so it's just, it's, it's a little bit more difficult than that. Alright, that's blobity blob, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bomb it. damage. That was actually better than the Pit of Shades. Uh, that was Pit of Shades. Better than the Wind of Death. Is it worse to have the vampire heroes on foot? Um, in this situation, it probably wouldn't have been too bad to have them on foot, but I think we're fine. I'm just going to tell you, hit friends. This will soften the blows a little bit. Is anyone excited for Total War Pharaoh? 
I'm sure a couple of people are. So when I look at the Steam DB and look at the charts, it says here that Total War Pharaoh is currently ranked 136 in top sellers. So that's interesting considering it comes out in five days. That is very interesting. Do you know what's even more interesting is that they actually got into the top 30, well, top 40, when um, the early access was going on, but about one day into the early access, it dropped straight down into the uh, below top 100. I think what happened was, I actually think the early access may have actually shot them in the foot, because a lot of people were curious about Pharaoh, and then they tried it, and then refunded it. I think, I think a lot of people refunded Pharaoh. I was tempted to try it, for sure, but then again, I've played Troy. Alright, Franz is gone. Will Cleopatra be in it? Sure, if you manage to play about... No, no, Cleopatra's not in it because time doesn't progress in the game. And they live in... They live 1,000 years... 1,200 years from each other. Let me put things in perspective. Um, the Crusades, like the first Crusade, was closer in time to us now than Cleopatra was to the, the time of Ramesses III. That's how much time had passed. Well, more than that even. There's not enough of them in that. We are immortal. Close victory incoming, guys. Don't need to run them down because they're stuck in a settlement. You did refund? Are you first? Yeah. That's what I think people did. But here's the thing, this is what I think with Pharaoh. I don't think it's fundamentally a bad game. From what I've seen, CS Sophia is doing the best that they can. And I think they're a really good studio. And all the criticisms that I've slung at Creative Assembly, none of it's directed at them. Except for maybe the battle department. They don't do a very good job with that. Um, but this was clearly a saga game that they've priced at full game price to try to make more money. And people aren't buying it. I know that's even even the people that are positive towards Total War Pharaoh are like, yeah, it's a saga game. Alright, I might sell that to Middenland. Treaties. We'll see. What's this guy gonna do? I don't think he's gonna rush over here after that. We could hit Isleheart next turn, that would be good. Oh, that's going to be good for selling it to Viesmund because a curse upon the empire for centuries. What do you want, creature? Yeah, they'll buy it for big monies. Okay. Interesting. I can get quite a few deals off that. I'm not going to do it this turn though. Yeah, that's the thing. I never saw game. It was a DLC, so it was originally planned as a DLC for Troy. So Troy was going to be expanded into Egypt at some point, and this is a hundred percent confirmed. Okay, this isn't like tinfoil hat stuff. This is one hundred percent true, confirmed. It's a fact. It was going to be a DLC for Troy, but instead of making it a Egypt expansion for Troy, they instead made it another game, another saga game. And then they're like, instead of making it a saga game price, like let's let's sell it for more than Total War Warhammer Three. <laughs> yes. So what should have originally have been twenty dollars ends up being sixty. If that ain't greed, I don't know what else is. So, with him, let's get Flock of Doom. Yep. 
Not that I would really ever use it. Unless everyone else disappeared. Cool. They're scrambling so hard. Yeah, I, th I, f I kind of feel like they had to do it. Like, they didn't have a choice. Kind of. Because of Hyenas. I, I reckon Hyenas has really screwed Total War over. R really badly. That project should have just never gone ahead. Or it should have been killed off many years ago. So, what, what are you going to do? It's, what's done is done. Can't do anything about it now. Alright, so we can, we can recruit a hero there. But we can't increase its capacity. It does provide us with a tiny bit of money. They nerfed that a fair bit. We get this one here is where the White King comes in. It, there, the White King used to come in from here, so now there's not really much incentive to build this building at all. So why, why would you build buildings when you just raise the dead? Um, when they don't have other benefits. What they should also do is increase the capacity of these uh, raise the deads in this area as well. Maybe that would have been good. Then... What are some other stuff we can build? Yeah, that's it. Alright, so get this one and... Oh, alright. We'll get this one first. That's more important because it'll make at least a little bit of cash. Hang on. There may actually be more important things to build. Yeah, like this. So let's upgrade Dot and Back because it's got a resource there. And the gold. Yeah, don't forget about that. Remember how that used to be worth a thousand? Nerf. I reckon they'll sell you out. Let me have a look here. Yeah, if it's if that says decisive defeat for us, then they're probably going to sell you out. That's fine. Because I can feel like I can I feel like I can beat them. Yeah. We'll have a we'll have some wins of magic, that'll help. I got nothing left. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna have to fight that over the end turn, but I, I feel like I can manage it. Undeath ascendant. Alright, let's do a little bit of diplomacy and move on. Sigma's will. Okay, they, they actually want non-aggression pact. Hmm. All right. It's a stepping stone towards other things. Then again, Marienburg's worth a lot of money. So I'll think about smashing them. Yes. Just leave them as they are for now. Because, yeah, that... We do get that landmark as the vampire counts. That would be good for us. All right, let's move on. Because it gives you guaranteed access to a unit you may want raising the dead. Isn't that reliable? Yes, that is true. That is the only reason you would recruit it, which isn't much of a big deal when it comes to vampire counts. Think about this campaign. The vast majority of our units have been raised the dead. It's easy to spot areas that have raised the dead markers. There's just not that much... Oh, they're actually being... Not super cat... Okay. Okay. Yeah, I thought they'd do this. Was expected. Alright, top priority is getting rid of the grudge thrower. If we can manage that, everything else should be fine. Now, another thing to compare this to the previous time we were fighting Ungram is that, for one thing, we'll be able to beat the crap out of this guy, no problem, but they're going to come at us and they've got more slayers than what Ungram did. But what we need to do here is blob up. Because we've got um, Poor Man's Wind of Death. If CA wasn't the studio that made Pharaoh, I think it would sell a lot more. Maybe. Yeah, it, it is also possible that CA's reputation is harming their sales right now. Because they've, they've really got a bad reputation. That looks like a good spot for us to hold a position. Slow Slayers. Yeah, we... Oh, we should be fine. I'm not worried. The fact that we've got this one here gives us a really good shot. And we've got bats. Don't count the bats out. 
So we'll hold our position over here. Let's do the best we can. They like fast units, so we'll send these two to go and mess with them to begin with. Now, if those grudge throwers get to here, we're fucked. Oh wait, can they get around that way? No, it's cut off. Okay, that's good. Advancing. Okay, I need you to draw the fire. That. Alright, quarrelers are a little bit of a concern, for sure. 45 seconds. Wait, those slayers. Oh, we got kills. Good job. Gotta watch out because the slayers can actually catch up to the vampire. Not trying to waste its ammo, just looking for a way to get in there. And also try to keep it back while these advance. Okay, reinforcements have arrived, that's good. No, 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 no. Okay, that's looking nice and organized. That's good. Alright, I just gotta get at... Hmm... Well, the Grudge Lords have already used up loads of their ammo. How many Quarrels do they have? I think it was three. Perfect blob for an Earthquake Mortar? Yes. Well, I would I would not do that if there was a mortar there. Unless I could waste the ammo first. Shit. I need to get her back over here actually. Yeah, I gotta get these back over here, because I was hoping to maybe try to snipe out some of the quarrelers, but this isn't really working. Uh, take out the grudge throwers with the bats. If they get sacrificed, those if they get killed, no big deal. Uh, I really wanted to take out some of these quarrelers, but these slayers are making that difficult. We can maybe have the quarrelers draw their fire on the on the bats that wouldn't be so bad Vampire. 
I'm sure I'm away from her. She's actually more important than the Lord right now. How are we going over here? Okay, back off. magic on this one to slow it down so I need you to get over there and draw its attention all right at least they're off the artillery that's about as good as you can hope for all right the bats can attack the quarrelers there just if we just give them a little bit of time to separate For this one. I'm not even sure if three... Oh, no, 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 no. If we lose her, we lose the battle. She has to survive. Me sending her out here like this is was actually very dumb. I shouldn't have done that. Find me if you dare. She absolutely has to survive. At once. Okay, that's working out pretty well there. Taking out a Corolla unit is definitely good. No! Why every time I turn my back do you decide to fight Slayers, you dumb one? Come on. There we go. Can use this one to slow it down. Good, they've got a good thing going there. Use Melkos to slow them, but I need my Winds of Magic. I need it for um, Penumbra Pendulum. Like I said, I made a dum dum. Can't go around this way. <laughs> Shit. This one's blocking my way. Good, good, good. If he could just get out of there, that would be great. God, he slipped away from those slayers really easily. Yes, 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 yes. Let me through. Let me through because I made a dumb dumb. Okay, she's going to make it. All right, cool. She's going to make it. Alright, she's gonna make it, it's fine. Alright, now we just have to see how these penumbral pendulums do. If it bounces the wrong way and like bounces into our, our own army, that would really, really suck. Watch out, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. No, 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 don't fight. Slayers, come on. Yeah, I shouldn't have had these lords run around like that. Oh, that is a nice blob. Just wait. We've, we don't have that much winds of magic. And we got plenty of troops, so we can definitely afford to be patient. Don't overcast it. Just regular cast will do. And cast it away from the army like this. Alright, see how much damage she does. Not bad. Come on, you. Get over here. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to get that one back in there. Yes, awake, minions. Get her back in here.
10,000 damage a pop. I can live with that. And we should have about 8 pops of it. No, you. Fucking hell. Okay, you need to get over here. Take out those crawlers. He's safe now. 40,000 damage. Nice. And we've got this guy here getting his healing in. They're slipping around our sides a little bit. That's okay. Your time has come. This is why I didn't use a Melkoth earlier. Good, I'd much rather them shoot at my bats than at my troops here. That is fine. 59,000 damage. And here comes some frame rate drops. <laughs> the battle of 3,000. The battle of Thermopylae, basically, here. Just like what the Spartans did. They held the evil dwarf Urshans back and used... Um, Penumbral Pendulum on them against a million. See, this is a historical Total War game. Thousand damage, nice. Bear's starting to run low on ammo. That's good. All right, these two here need to go for the enemy lord if they can. Why not overcast? Well, I might miscast, but also. Um, it doesn't really increase the amount of damage by that much, I think. It does. But I think that just regular casting it is fine. So let's have a look. Yeah, it does 60% armor piercing. It's only for 3 extra wins of magic. Alright, fuck it. Let's do it. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can either get two regular or one overcasted. Yeah, better to get two regular. Yeah, it'll perfectly fit our... No, oh, let's get rid of this one. Don't let it get up in the artillery. All right, I get one more cast. And she should have done about 100,000 damage now. Yep, 110,000 damage. Nice. Have slayers in the back. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, this, that's, that's okay though. I can't really do much about that. Yeah, they squeezed on through. Just dwarf warriors. Not a big deal. Alright, here's my last cast. Make it count. Army losses. Okay, make sure this dude here dies. Oh, 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 yeah, you, 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 you. They get very stuck otherwise. You gotta give them the order over and over again. Okay. 
Uh, if we kill him, he'll just get another one at low level. So why don't we damage him a bit? Yeah, we'll just damage him a bit. Make sure there are other units as much as possible die, especially quarrelers. Got a whole bunch of units here that aren't really fighting. I gotta get them in there. Pull the ones that are kind of wavering back. Yeah, those Corollas did probably the most amount of damage to us, so I definitely don't want them leaving the battlefield. If you can run ahead of them, they might run the other way. Those guys are going, can't stop them. Good, they're running the wrong way now. That's a dead unit. Cool, take out those crawlers. Oh my god, how many times do I have to tell you to go after this? Run backwards. I want these dead. Oh, they oh, Come on. All you did was damage them. Dipshit. God damn it. Alright, get over here. Aren't the dwarves under siege so they can't recruit another lord? They can recruit another lord if that lord dies. They can. Because it's their turn. So yeah, we'll just damage him so that basically a little tickle will kill him in the next battle. Frame rate is really bad. Is that on side two? Yes, the frame rate's really bad because of blobbing. This is very typical when you do this kind of stuff. So I just need to wait for them to finish off with these slayers and then we can unblob. It won't be like this for all battles. It's mostly just this one. Oh, that's too much, too much, too much. That's enough. Oh, good, you actually killed some. That's good. Good. Alright, that should make the next battle stupidly easy. Why are you running down units? Because I'm going to have to fight them again next turn. <laughs> Come on, man. Use your head. Just because they've sallied out doesn't mean they get wiped out. The attrition will get him? No. Maybe, actually. Yeah. Hearts of Iron France campaign? No, thanks. I, I don't play Hearts of Iron anymore. Why'd you recruit Strigoi Lords? Strigois are good at fighting, uh, like, dueling. Because they've got really high melee attack and they regenerate, so they're good at low level. And that's what I needed in this emergency situation. Normally I would go with Vampire Lords, but a level 1 Vampire Lord will lose to a Strigoi Lord. And I stand by my decision because they actually beat Ungram. Yeah, he's not going to get attrition out. Okay. I will take... I'll take the money, because I don't actually need my troops for the next fight. Which do you dislike more, Rome to or Empire? Empire, definitely.
Oh, look, he's trying to get there first. Well, look, here's the thing, Dothu. I actually want to give it to you. For money. Thou shalt treat me with the respect I deserve, Hmm. Hmm. That's a no. Legends of Heart of Iron videos are fantastic. Much behind a silver he says. Oh, what? Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm not really too worried about them. Greetings. Let us not waste our time comparing grimoires. Straight to business, I feel. Yeah, you've got your hands full at the moment. I don't think you're going to declare war on me. They might, though. That'll be pretty funny. They don't have much of an army. But Eshin is not well defended, so they could they could get it back. Alright, I'm trying to rush Drakenhof to tier 4. We could get these developed, but getting to tier 4 is more important. Oh, what? Minus 40? That's going to strip all of the vampiric corruption away. Jeez. That's not very fair. That's, can't really do much about that. I thirst. Move. Yes. Now, if you want it, you have to pay. <laughs> so that was called Karak Asgaraz. And, okay, we can get a trade agreement with it. And it will give it a lot of extra relation. I can get more than that. Yeah. And then I want you to go to war with Reichland. I want you to go to war with Karak Kadrin. Oh shit, he threw that in for free! Okay, that is definitely a good deal. That only cost me 500 essentially. But we need to make sure that she gets disbanded first, or else... Because I can't just... Yeah, I... oh no I can. Or else I'll be trespassing. That is a good freaking deal. I'm happy with that deal. And Durthu is becoming a really good friend. That's weird. Can he reach Uberschweig? Uh, I don't really care if he manages to. He can't reach it this turn. The world I can reach that one. There's no way that there's a siege attacker in that army. It's too early in the campaign for them to get it. But what they could do is tag Carl Franz back in. But Carl Franz isn't... Hang on, I got an idea. If I give you Karaburg, I want you to declare war on Reichland. No, they won't do it. I'm still going to give him Karaburg back. I just don't want them getting Reichland back because we're building defenses there. Because he's in raid stance. If he comes out of raid stance, he could make it to Altdorf. I could make it over to him, but that's the opposite direction that I want to go in. I want to get over here so that I can get to Ubersreich before they do. Although that, that army is too small to possibly win. Champion of the dark. I guess they could raise another army in there. Just to put some force in, to, just so they don't launch the attack. Yeah, I could do that. It's not not ideal. We actually got that in order. And yeah, he didn't get replaced. Good stuff. 
Oh, I didn't end up needing that other Strigoi Lord, so we can disband him. Because, yeah, I was going to bring him in to assist, but we absolutely smashed them in that fight that we just didn't need to. Cool, so let's get rid of him. And instead recruit him over here. And by him, I mean her. Oh no, this one's already been recruited. Let's get this one over here. Strigoi's a, like I said, better at low tier. And I just need him to defend Altdorf. It's the capital of our empire. I think that guy's gonna think twice before besieging that. Okay, then at Karaburg. Hmm. Fucking Toddy, I might just kill you if you're gonna be like this. Alright, let me have a look over Shmuel. Oh, should I bow and scrape? The great vampire bloodlines deign to call upon humble me. Hmm. I wouldn't mind being friends with Heinrich, but he doesn't really like us very much because of the gifts I gave to Argulon. I would like to confederate with him, but it is it is a bit tricky. Yeah, it's not going to happen anytime soon. We've got a non-aggression pact with him, but he'll probably cancel it because we're main threat. If I gave him a... I can't give him a gift, I got no money. If I, I can't give him a city either. Could maybe think about giving him Helmgard, that's a settlement that's not worth anything to us. As long as he doesn't but like declare war on us between now and then, because that's, if everything goes correct, two turns away. I refuse. I could I could give Karaburg over to Marienburg. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Now what brings you here with a sheathed blade? But then again, I did say I wanted to smash Marienburg. They're close to vassaling. I could buy a vassal out of that. Hmm. What if I join war against the Black Pit? No, they don't really care. I mean, that would get us over the line without requiring a payment. Karaburg. Karaburg. I could just give it away. Like, sell it and just get it later. Get a whole bunch of cash. Okay, you're... Oh, yeah, I'll just sell it to the highest bidder. So they're willing to... Sorry, let me say that again. They're willing to pay... 4,876. How much are you willing to pay? <laughs> it's an auction. I will listen Who's going to pay? You got less money than fucking Middenland, do you? Well, guess what? You don't get it. They do. Von Casting. The curse upon the and I want you to break your agreements with... Reichland. Oh, yeah, they'll do it. Nice. For, for money. Uh, I don't want to establish any treaties with him because I'm pretty sure I'm going to smash his ass. Or maybe Radiant Ash will, we'll see. And I also want you to break your non-aggression pact with them. And I want you to... Yeah, basically we're just going to isolate these guys. I want you to join war against the Deceivers. No, they won't do that. Okay. I think that's a pretty good deal. I'll take it. Agreed. Because, yeah, you step out of line, fucking take it away off you. And now, you're looking even more isolated. I thought you don't like playing Vampire Counts, what changed? Nice to see, really. Oh, I thought I'd try something different with Vlad, and I'm actually- I, I'm actually enjoying it. Yeah, this is not so bad. Yeah, playing- playing Emperor of- of the Empire as- as a vampire, that's- that's not so bad. It's not so bad. Okay, and... Yeah, we need to get to Wind of Death. Spreading cor oh no, you're not finished with other stuff yet. Spreading corruption is important, but we spread it pretty quickly as it is. Spread 
Poor kid. Speak up, or I'll take your tongue. Before you says anything. I like how Before you says anything, that's Scar Snick. Keep your roving eyes Generic away from me. goblin. Before you says anything, <laughs> Scar Snick. Keep your roving eyes away from me. <laughs> I think I got the wrong lines in there. Alright, we've taken out their armies, so we need to be aggressive against them right now. Uh, looking at Skarsnik, if I offer to join war against Crooked Moon Mutinous Gits, no, that doesn't do much. If I offer to join war against Karaza Karak, probably not the best idea. Although, he does seem to actually be doing fairly well against them, so that could be good. And I doubt I'd get the same deal with Karaza Karak, we can have a look. Oh yeah, they hate us. What? Before you says anything, Gobra ain't Karak Azul is not likely to Yeah, that's not worth much. Yeah. Alright. Let's declare war on Karaza Karak. If it doesn't backfire on us, and I'll take that non aggression pact. If he stabs us in the back, which that's likely, let's at least try to have finished off um Ungrim by then. So this will just buy us some time. Right then. Whereas, I don't think that... They might send armies over here to just jump over here. That that could happen. But if they do that, they're dead, because Skarsnik will finish him off. Look at me and despair. It will be done. Go Yeah, I don't really need you to replenish so much. I need you to just get there. Oh, you're going to replenish anyway. Okay. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not sure what causes it. Alright, Isle Heart. We got it at tier 2. That's good. Need money. Get the money buildings. Not sure if Grunberg is safe. And we need to rush Altdorf. It's weird being good friends with Arguilon. Are Var guys useful outside of siege battles? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're okay. You can use them. They're fine. Alright, got a bit of money. Welcome to my court. Yeah, another skeleton wouldn't be so bad. Alright, we got three levels up for that. That's pretty good. Let's get... Let's improve our units a bit. That'll help them against the Slayer spam, because they're probably going to recruit more Slayers now. Replenishment wouldn't be so bad. Hmm. And then the Necromancer. Yep, that's good. But uh, let's work towards Winds of Death, because that is way better than Mel. Uh, what's it called? Uh, no Mumble well. Pendulum. Okay, all my armies have moved. Good. Don't upgrade these two. Public order will be important here. Let's do that one. Let's see if Ungram wants peace. I have no time for this. Okay, and these guys here. If we were friendly with them, they would confederate. So how can we go about that? I kind of need to declare war on on Telebackman for that. I think. Or I just need more cash to just give them shitloads of gifts. We'll just have to wait and see. Deliver your missive and then get from my presence. Just curious to see what I can get for that. There's nothing. By my hammer, yeah, they're stay. probably going to declare stand. war on us at some point. Because those guys are far away and they consider me main threat. So... Fort Sol has 14 units. 
I, I can't justify recruiting any more units right now. I'm just going to have to hope that they leave me alone for a little bit longer. All right, let's move on. Try it anyway, okay. Vlad plus Isabella, best duo doomstack. It's pretty good, yeah. Best duo, though, in the entire game, I would have to say, is probably Festus plus Champions. Exalted Heroes, because he just makes them unkillable. Alright, what's the chances we can actually lift that? Let's have a look. Because I'd rather not get Vlad- oh my god. Really? Why? What the- why? Why is it- why? Well, I guess we got a lot of trash. Hmm. Mm, he'll lay siege for a few turns. Mm, generating more magic and losing troops. King of Darkness. Is that army still there? No, they've moved on. Probably going to Grunberg, which is why I didn't want to develop it. Or oh, they might be coming over here to attack Altdorf. That might that reminds me, actually. I can actually, I can actually leave Altdorf, recruit some more units, and then come back and attack. Maybe regiments of renown. Uh, could you help me? No. All shall know me and tremble. All right. It might actually be best for me to attack Helmgart first rather than Ubersreich, because. If I go to Ubersreich and then Helmgart, it's going to take even longer to get back to Altdorf. Whereas if I go Helmgart, Ubersreich, Altdorf, that's like a direct line. I'm possibly going to sell Helmgart to the Barrow Legion to make them friendly. Friendlier. Kind of wish I had recruited another lord. Oh, I wouldn't have had enough movement anyway. I'm going to do that. Oh, good. They went over here. Good. What a lucky guess. Yeah, taking out their army is more important. But yeah, this over here, this is a bit iffy. This is a bit iffy. I kind of feel like a, like I can win that, but I'm not sure because we got the corpse cart here that that would provide extra stats, which that's good. And we've got a fair few units here, but the quality is definitely on their side. Except I've got a Strigoi, and a Strigoi will beat the shit out of this dude. No, not really. Why has this guy got such high melee? Oh, okay. Do I have any good items? That'll make a difference. Helm of Discord will. That'll make a difference. What else have we got? Oh, look. Trash. Same item he's got. Okay. Night Shroud. No, no. Rod of Flaming Death. Potion. No, doesn't need that. Hmm, that, that one there, maybe should have prepared a little bit more. This over here looks fine. Are you going to be able to get there? Nope. She's going to channeling stance, because yeah, getting that magic cup is really important. But this should be easy. It's always good to catch them when they're just starting recruiting. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, that is one big problem with vampire counts. It's so bad in order resolve. <laughs> Sometimes. Alright, I can pick up another unit. Or two. Oh, there goes my money. Play Pharaoh, please, please, please. No amount of please is going to make any difference. It's a, It would 
not be good for me. Uh, there's no incentive for me. I don't want to play it. It would be bad for the channel. Shoot us in the algorithm. Um, I have to fight it manually. I don't have a choice. Strigo will beat the shit out of him. No slayers this time. Uh, I'd say we just rush at them. Do not say the P word. <laughs> Assholes didn't even give him the game for free. Well, obviously they're not going to give me the game. Imagine what I would rip it into. I'd rip it to pieces in, in a review. That's fine, don't worry about it. Let's go. I don't have any particularly powerful spells, so the best that we can hope for is just rush at them, try not to get absolutely annihilated. But yeah, blobbing is not going to be a good idea because of the minus blasting charging, and also because this guy's got area effect buffs. So we want to prevent that. I want this guy to immediately start sniping him. Couldn't Legend rip into Pharaoh if he personally bought early access? Yeah, it's not it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Like I just don't want to play it. It's bore it looks boring. Like if like as I've said before, if you want Pharaoh, I hope you enjoy it. I'm not interested in it. I'm just not interested in it at all. Yeah. Creative Assembly didn't invite me to anything to do with Pharaoh, and I understand why, and it's totally fine with it. It would be bad for the channel for me to cover Pharaoh. So why would I do it? Because like five people come on and just incessantly request it. The game is going to be dead on arrival. I'm not going to waste my time with such dog shit. But I hope you enjoy it. I really do. Right, with 80 melee attack to his 40. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> How the hell did he get the upper hand on us there? God damn it, our stats are like twice his size. Hmm. Bloody cheats. Call hacks. Thing is, even with the cheats, it's not that high. They want to go after that. Okay, we're starting to smash him now. That's good. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, there we go. Starting to get him. Oh, good. We got this. <laughs> Zombies. Too slow. The grimoires grant me this boon. How much money would it take to change your mind and out Pharaoh? What do you mean, how much money? I don't take bribes. Need to get these two off the battlefield before they get wiped out. Yeah. 
Yeah, look, as I've said, I've said this loads of time with Pharaoh, and people are getting sick of hearing about it. It's really this simple. Pharaoh comes out in five or six days. I really hope that you guys enjoy it, those of you who buy it. I'm not buying it. I'm just not gonna buy it. I'm not interested in it. And that's it. But I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get your money's worth. Personally, I think that CA is scamming you. But how you spend your money is entirely up to you, and I can't tell you how to spend your money. Nice, that worked out really well there. I actually routed them. Cool. For one thing, all right, I just want to point something out. I'm just going to go to the Total War official channel. Okay, I'm just going to show you something. The game hasn't come out yet. Total War Pharaoh on the channel that has a ho nearly 100,000 more subscribers than me can barely break half the views that I get with Total War Pharaoh. Look at this. Now, to put things in perspective, Total War Warhammer videos that they produce, sometimes, get way more views than what I get. If the official Total War channel can't even get 20,000 views on this, what do you think I'm going to get? Alright, 5,000 views. I'm not going to waste my time on a game that I have no interest on for, for that's actually going to hurt the channel. Okay? And I get that some people just can't take no for an answer. But no is no. All signs point to this being a flop. All signs point to it. And if you can't accept that, then just wait a few days. Get him up. Good, so we secured this province that'll help with the growth when we do this. That's good. Alright. I do feel like I need to launch this attack, because otherwise they're going to starve us out. Because it's going to take... Vlad, several turns to get here. But that being said, Altdorf, I can defend it. It's it's not too bad to defend, especially against this. But they're going to starve us out. Is getting the tower worth it? I don't know. If this was an unholy lodestone, that would make such a big difference. I refuse. What did I level you up with? The hunger. Okay. Not likely. I think this is going to be a, a rough one. I think we're going to take tons of casualties, but I think there's a chance. Total was doing a money grab, such a disrespect to his player base. Yep, and it, look, hit, the thing is, and this. I get really pissed at Creative Assembly when they do this kind of shit because it really makes my job difficult. As as a YouTuber whose job is it is to get views, covering Pharaoh that will not get views, there's no incentive for me whatsoever, especially considering I have no interest in the game whatsoever. But then a few people get pissed off at me for not covering a game that I don't want to cover. Because if I cover the game, I'm not going to enjoy it. I've, I've, I know I'm not going to enjoy it. I've seen the gameplay. I'm not going to enjoy it. So you don't want to watch me play it. Trust me, you don't. Which is why I never made any videos about Troy, because I didn't like it. Alright, this is... Alright, let's go in. You can go out of the settlement and recruit more units. I know, I know, but I, I think I've got enough. 
Uh, Bruno Barros did a 15 R super chat. Legend, have you made a pool about what people want for next Total War? Medieval, 40k, Empire, other? That would be nice to see what viewers want. Keep up the good job and show some love for the dwarves. All right, thanks, Super Chat. So, um, I think speculating on all this stuff is not particularly helpful. Um, I just don't care about what the next Total War game is. I just hope it's good. Um, but no, I just I haven't done that. Thanks, Super Chat. Though. Alright, so, the biggest concern is actually going to be the free company militia and missile units. We outnumber them. We've got more troops than they do. If I go super wide... What I need is for this guy to duel him first and then just rush at them. Hmm... Thing is, going wide means taking lots of damage really quickly. Or, we sneak in via the forest. Yeah, we use the trees as cover. They don't see us coming, and if they do, they can't hit us properly. Well, obviously you'll be, you'll be visible. Alright, his melee attack is 87 compared to 79 compared to... Oh shit, you might actually struggle against him a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you got more health than him, so that's something. Would you ever do a multiplayer campaign? Uh, I'd think about it, but it's not a priority. So I wouldn't say 100% no, but also not 100% yes either. Helmet will help. Yeah, I, I know, it'll help a bit. Alright, I gotta draw him over this way. I definitely want to fight him. Fighting him in the forest will be good. He'll lose a bunch of melee attack. Also, if I can get this close, I'll also grab extra melee attack and melee defense. That's it. Draw him in. That's it. Draw him in. We're not taking any damage. We're drawing him in. That's it. This is working so far. No, 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 no. I want you to... That's it, bro. That's it, bro. This way. That's okay. We can get discovered. This way. This way. Might take the bait. Well, they saw where we are. Hmm. How much damage did he do? 365. Essentially a free hit. Well, I'm going to need to do a free hit to compensate for that. And they're, they're staying away from the forest here. And I don't have any means of doing magical or ranged damage to them. Uh, Kangaroo Flu did a 5 dollar super chat. Hey, Legend. Quick question. Do the corpse carts regen aura and vigor mortar stack with multiple carts? No. Thanks, super chat. Now, if it's the same ability, it doesn't stack. Okay. <laughs> I want to fight in the forest. Their missile units won't do well there. That was going to charge. Oh, you did good charging. Alright, well then, if I can't have the forest, I at least want the high ground. The guns will have a hard time shooting at us from up here. He's coming back. He wants some more. 
And I'm fine with that. No, he gave up on it. Damn it, stop being not stupid. Maybe I should use these to pin him down. Good. We're getting some hits in. Killing him early is going to make a big difference. Eric Anderson did a 100 SEK submission. Hi, Legend. Love the live stream. Content. Stay awesome. Thanks. No, it's dude. My pleasure. Glad you love it. Appreciate the super chat. Alright, that's fine. Good. We're, we're definitely getting the upper hand on this. And I've only got one spell, so I might as well use heal. Hit him harder. <laughs> Alright, I gotta pull them out of that. That's not gonna be advantageous to us. If we can manage to kill him, then getting a mass route is definitely possible. Uh, frame rate's a bit shit at the moment. All of that's working out pretty well. Ready for that. Oh, it's a slideshow. Because I blobbed up too hard over here. I need to get some of these guys over here. Out of this blob. Good, this is working out really nicely. Get this one out of here. Okay, we've routed him. His speed's gone down, so it would be good to run him down. Him leaving the battlefield is not ideal. We want to kill him. Alright, just let him go. He'll rally. He'll rally. He just got a little bit chicken shit scared. He's not going to heal or anything. Pull some of these units out of this fucking blob. I need to do something about that. Well, they're going to lose a lot of damage because they're on the low ground, so that's something, I guess. Oh, he's back. We need to go kill him. Right, stay close over here. At least we've got the high ground here. So. Don't try it, Anakin. I have the high ground. <laughs> no, not you. Not you. Not you. Get in there. I want him dead. The living will join us. No, he routed again. Let's see if I can cut him off with them. Come on, come on, come on. 
<laughs> They're leaving their missile units in reserve. Come on, I need him dead. Him running away isn't good enough. He's Spirit Leech! They're, they're kind of doing it. I still think they're going to fail because it doesn't have that far to go. Yeah, the free company militia, they can't get shots in. The angle is awful for them. If this guy dies, I'll be able to charge into their rear and just cause a mass rout. I think. If he dies. He's getting close. He's like maybe 10 more hits. Don't let him get away. You're letting him get away. Stop it. Stop it. Oh god, the frames. Good. Luckily, he ran into a tree. He's playing Bannerlord. Come on. Come on. A few more hits. Do is just run around, they're so bloody stupid. <laughs> it's so close, come on! Oh, I've been in this situation so many times. Come on. I actually would really kill for Spirit Leech right now. Come on, one more hit, one more hit! You got this. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Got him, finally. God damn it. Son of a fuck. Alright, it's big wrap time. Let's go. Wrap around, here we go. Uh, Feature did a 100 SEK super chat. Frame issues be gone. Yep. Uh, well, the battle will be over in a minute. Mass route incoming. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate you. We have won. That doing any damage? Yeah, it is actually. Well, I wouldn't really call this a mass route, but it is a route. A lot of units, but with a lot of health. Chicken shit running away. Man, they have such a hard time running units down. Look at them, just flail them about everywhere. Charge into there, they're gonna get insta killed. Then you get around here, charge at this. It's still playing Auditide music, so the Bouncer Pedal is still not in our favor yet. 
But I'm, I'm pretty sure we've won. K killing their generals made a big difference. They just, just aren't going to stand and fight. As soon as... Yeah, we'll see. Get their fucking missile units. Right, keep trying to heal as well. Let's bring this one in. I actually wish I had more cavalry right now. This one just isn't cutting it. Remember that their army doesn't get wiped out just because they lose the battle. So we do need to run them down. That is very important. Yes, awake, minions. Just get him off the battlefield. Who's the most similar to the Pope in the Warhammer universe? Volkmar the Grim, obviously. So many similarities. They're both religious zealots. They both have a following of religious zealots. They're both obsessed with killing unbelievers. And they both are kitty. No, 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 no. <laughs> Castelton got forgotten. No, Castelton is like the patriarch. It's the it's the Orthodox Pope. So the Pope is the Catholic Pope. So that's Sigmar. And then you've got the Orthodox one. It's, he's literally called the Orthodoxy. Rasputin? Oh yeah, of course. Of course. There we go. So much for decisive defeat. Showed them. 
With this defeat, this cements that Reichland isn't going to recover. This was their one and only shot. Because by the time they attempt another attack on Altdorf, because they've still got Middenland, I'm going to have to go up that way to finish them off. But by the time they, they attack Middenland, uh, come down here again, the, excuse me, the extra defenses will be built here. And this will probably create a landmark. So I'll have even more raise the dead. Now, a lot of them got away, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to pursue them, because I've still got the garrison helping us out here. Trying to recover whatever units I possibly can will definitely help, especially if it's part of the main army, like that one there is. Everything up to about here. Heroic? Wow, heroic victory. I wasn't expecting that. Sigmar is like Jesus and Charlemagne. I, I like to use the term that Major Kill coined, and he calls Sigmar Murder Jesus. <laughs> Where Jesus turns water into wine, Sigmar turns water into blood. Or whatever. Watch the Lionheart Warhammer 3 video. The graphics and frame rate difference with his videos is huge. If you have the money, I hope you will do something about it, which you will. I, I'm going to do something about it, yeah. Yeah, basically, it was like this. Um, when Warhammer 3 was coming out, I was going to invest in a new computer, but I kind of saw Warhammer 3 for the shit show that it was going to be, and was like, eh, I'm not going to invest in this. But I'm, I, my hand has been forced now. I, I'm going to take replenishment so I can maybe run these guys down. He's in touch with Major Kill? Uh, I still have his contact, but we don't speak that often these days. Oh, look at that, they're actually allied with them. Presence. Something like that. Hmm. Hephaestus, do you want to declare war on Reichland? No. Hmm, he wants to go to war with Telebackland. Oh, come on! This is gonna be so friggin' easy, but alright, whatever. It's probably because I got so many zombies. Yeah, look at this. Today, no dropped frames whatsoever. We've obviously had frame drops, but that's, that is actually just vampire count shenanigans. You know, that happened back in Warhammer 2 stuff, but I think the frame rate's been pretty good. Want to raise the dead? I don't want to waste more money. I'm not exactly rolling around it, and I know I can win against this. And it's probably just going to give me more zombies, which isn't going to help in order resolve. So what we're going to do is we're just going to rush at them. They don't stand a chance. It's just order resolve being racist towards zombies. <laughs> because yeah, they do have free company militia, which perform pretty well in order resolve. But if I could just get them pinned down, it's not going to count for shit. Also, healing doesn't really count for shit in order resolve, and that's something we got a fair bit of.
Entropy of decay! Main problem that we've got with this army is just the slow rate that we sort of grind them down, we can just kind of instantly kill them. But if we push them off the edge of the map, they're not going to be able to run away. I don't know why they tried to run away from my um, skeleton spears. I guess they want to shoot at us, but I'm not giving them that opportunity. Oh, this one's taking some damage. At least it regenerates on its own. Zerg rush. Yeah, if the Zerg were really slow. Keep keep running them off. Problem this time is that I can't kill their general. They don't have one, so no way to drop their leadership down. Apart from just damaging them. Doesn't matter if the, my entire army here gets destroyed as long as we win, because I was just going to disband it anyway. There's no way that they'll recover quickly. Take some damage. Yeah, a lot of our units are getting wiped, but it's fine. Okay, this unit over here is going to get wiped in a minute. There we go, cool. That was not too long. I would remind people to read the description about the rules of the chat. It's starting to get a little bit off topic. Hey Legend, have you completed all the newer achievements? No. Nah. No, nah, I can't be bothered. I haven't done any of the new achievements. Alright, let's go with money, because they're all wiped out now. And now this guy can be put to rest, yeah, for the time being. And we've got a raise the dead marker. 
So, oh, that's a good item. So, yeah, next time they decide to poke their head out here, we should have no trouble getting some support to wipe them out, especially considering we're going to have these extra defenses. Um, he's actually pretty angry with me. I, I might... I might not disband this army, actually, because fucking Toddy's right there. And he's a siege attacker. Is No, he's not, even though he's a legendary lord. Okay, well, whatever. We've got a little bit of time, but just keep that there for now, I think. And I want you to be able to hit harder. Cool. Alright, time to capture Helmgast. I'm going to sell this to them. Because it's not worth anything to me. And... Ah, crap. I was hoping to auto-resolve this, but... Nope. No one. How come you never lose? I've watched so many vids of yours for hours and I haven't seen you lose. I do lose, they're just rare. I've lost I've lost two battles in this campaign already. They just were nothing battles, that's all. Ask Tony to break alliance. I already tried, he doesn't want to. No campaign movement skill. What for? He's not moving around, he's a defensive lord. Alright, we need to just do what we always do and just use the heroes. Now, we can't just cap one point and win the whole battle out here. But if we charge up over here, they'll probably send a lot of troops at us. And I can just wind of death them. Come on, Vlad. Get stuck. Especially find that. Lord of the dead. Night has actually, I think it might be better to use this. Oh, that's actually more expensive than Wind of Death overcasted. Interesting. Nice big blobs forming up over here, so I think an overcasted pit of shades would be good. Got a good amount of wind reserves, so that's going to help. Yeah, that did way more damage than Wind of Death. Can you explain how you overcast spells? Yeah, double click on it. See how there's like two arrows there? You click once, there's one arrow highlighted. Second time, second one highlighted. Can't believe people don't know that. Have you ever played a campaign on easy difficulty in any Total War game? Yes. Um, not for fun. But what I would do with easy difficulty is if I want to test something, it's a good way to like get to a specific point in a campaign really quickly. Because in easy difficulty, you can just order resolve your way through everything. So you can you can plow your way to like turn 50 in like 20 minutes. Really, really quickly. So if, yeah, usually when I'm doing like uh, a whole bunch of tests, but as for playing the game at easy difficulty, no, you don't play the game on easy difficulty. That's to, just to learn stuff. If it's like tutorial mode. Alright, 
we are free to go and cap points. Vlad can keep fighting. And I'll just generate some more Winds of Magic while they're doing that. Maybe I can cap all the points because we've taken about half their army now. They sent the mortars into melee. Yes, they'll do that if they feel like they can't actually use their missile attack. They, they, yeah, they shouldn't obviously send it into melee, but the AI is sort of programmed in such a way that if they have a unit, they feel duty bound to use it, even if it's in a really terrible way. It's just, just bad AI. Uh, Empire Knights are their best choice at blocking us. Melkoth is pretty cheap. It's good against cavalry. In fact, Melkoth, which is cheaper, is better than using uh, Spirit Leech, which we've got here as well. Sigmar Sons are going to fight to the death, so I'm not interested in fighting them. Oh, we army lost them. Okay, okay well then. Let's get on with it then. <laughs> that, was, that was reasonably quick. Ten minutes. Spirit Leech might be better here. It's better at finishing them off. There we go. Good stuff. No damage. Close victory. Oh no. Are there any buff and debuff spells you recommend using? <sighs> yep, sure. It, all buffs and debuffs depend on the situation. <laughs> you gotta get out of these mindsets of, oh, good spell, use spell. No, you, you gotta look at what it does, it's pretty transparent, and then just use it when it's, when it's useful. Every buff and debuff spell in the game has some value. But every single one of them will be used situationally. So if you just go, oh, I'll always use Pans and Penetrable Pelt. You know, what if your archers aren't in melee and use Pans and Penetrable Pelt? What, what for? You know, so judge the situation. It's really not hard. Alright, so Helmgart is tier 2. If I was to sell this to them... Oh wow, they don't even want it. Well, I guess I'll keep it then. Shit, I gotta pay them to take Helmgart. Well, I guess I'm keeping it. Vampires and necromancers both. They think they can raise the dead, but there is only hmm. one Lich Master. Hmm. He's getting angrier at me. And I don't really have any reasonable way of dealing with it. Oh, should I bow and scrape? The great vampire bloodlines deign to call upon humble me. Hmm. It's not really worth it. Are there any spells that are absolute trash and almost never worth casting? Uh, it's just... Yes, I suppose there are some spells that are just not worth casting. But again, it's situational. There, there's always some use for a spell. So Spirit Leech, for example, is a pretty low effective spell. But when you don't have anything else, you use it. So, like, like I said, it's... It's better to have any spell than to have no spell. <coughs> There's not like a spell in the game that you should just never use. 
It just depends on the situation. Like, you take Wind of Death, for example. That's like an always use spell. And then there's a spell like um, Van Hell's Dance Macabre, which is a barely ever used spell. It's not like D Van Hell's Dance Macabre is a bad spell. It absolutely isn't. Speed plus melee attack. Overcast it and you get extra um, area of effect. It's a good spell. But you just got access to better ones, that's all. Because all spells in the game use the same amount of ammunition. Think of it like if you were playing a first-person shooter gun a game. And imagine that all guns in that game use the same ammo. It's just, it, you just had a resource called ammo. And then you've got a gun that causes 5 damage, right? And then you get a gun later on that causes 100 damage. You wouldn't really ever use the 5 damage gun again. Ever. Um... Especially if it uses the same ammo. But, in the situation that maybe the 5 damage gun slows the enemy down or causes a debuff, then that might be more useful against an enemy that, say, is immune to gun damage. It's, you just gotta, you just gotta read the room. Aren't buff spells better in Warhammer 3, though? No? No, they're all the same. No, they're not better. I think some in some situations they're better. So, for example, Astankia, she's able to cast buff spells really cheap and debuff spells, so that's fine for her. Alright, I think there's this one. Yeah, let's go with that. Again, situation. So, okay, so here's another example. Let's just say you're going up against an... Let's just say you're going up against a Rite of Primeval Glory army and you've, you're a vampire. Right, let's, let's grab a vampire. Um, yeah, let's say you have Vlad Von Karstein, and you're going up against a Rite of Primeval Glory army, and you're the only spellcaster in the army. So, Wind of Death, the most powerful spell in the game, is useless against single entities. So, bringing this spell in that situation is not very useful. But, Van Hell's Dance Macabre to boost your other units, that would be useful. So, it just, it depends on the situation. In fact, even Flock of Doom is more cost-effective than Wind of Death against a Brighter Primeval Glory Army. But all of this, all of this, don't try to just, like, write this shit down. Play the game, and you will get a feel for it. And you'll, you won't even need to have ever used a spell before to get a feel for it, because all of the effects of these spells, unless it's bugged, is written into the game in a very simple sort of way. Like, you look at this one here, Leadership can cause terror, can cause fear. I don't ever need to cast a spell to, and infuse magical attack. I don't ever need to cast this spell to know what it does because it's all written right there. There's very few spells that have hidden effects. Why does Vlad have beast magic? Because he's a beast. Durr. Alright, we've got a little bit of money. Let's upgrade Zuffbar. And... Well, that costs a fair bit of money. Get some growth up in there. We should be able to get another Necromancer by now. Mm, no. Alright, that's looking good. Yeah, if Toddy declares war on me, I'm not going to be ready here. Considering I just gave him a settlement, that would be pretty ungrateful of him. He'd be more likely to attack Eilhart, though. I think after I've taken Ubersreich, we're going to have to declare war on Toddy, because he is being a real prick. At least he gave me a lot of money. Also, I told him to break a bloody agreement, and then he ends up with an alliance with fucking Reichland. What a big bitch. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Toddy. You think Kazrak was bad? Maybe I'll take that. Man, Cathay is pretty reasonable. Yes. The nation calls. Are you the only one thinks that vampire accounts are boring as fucking eatery work? No, you're not the only one. Look, there's everybody has a race that they find boring, and every race is boring to someone. You can't please everyone. Do you think vassalizing Karak Kadrin for Zafbar as Vlad is worth it? Mm, 
could be. Depends on the situation. Alright, Toddy hasn't had his turn yet. I'm glad they didn't declare war. Oh, no, they won't declare war first, so I'll cancel non-aggression pact. Beastmen suck. No, they don't. Beastmen are a top-tier race. They're one of the strongest. These guys here look like they're about to make moves. So good. Can I reach there? Ingram's back. Hmm, it's gonna take us a few turns to get to him. I gotta ask myself what's more important Winds of Magic or getting to Ungram quickly? Probably getting to Ungram quickly. Well, look, this guy here can stay there, I think. But you are gonna have to force march. We're, we, we've got to launch that attack next turn. Before he, like, has a full stack of slayers. Uh, Giovanni Kalia did a 5 years of chat. Hello there, legend. Can you tell me if it's possible to revive Warriors of Chaos Legendary Lords? Thank you and kisses from Italy. Alright, thanks, dude. Or do that. Thanks, Super Chat. I mean, Giovanni's a guy's name. Um, it is possible to revive some Legendary Lords of the Warriors of Chaos. So, for example, Festus can't be revived. Um, Archeon can be revived. Bellacore can be revived. I don't think Sigvold can be revived. I'm not 100% sure about that. I think Azazel can be revived, but he actually gets revived over here. I don't think Village can be revived. I know for a fact that Valkyr can be revived, and she is revived at this settlement right here. Iron Frost. Oh, shit. I right-clicked. <laughs> Imagine if they tried to walk all the way there. Um, Kolek can be revived at uh, the challenge stone so yeah he can be revived so some can some can't but that's a good question okay Uber's Reich that'll be an easy fight oh they get walls there as well because of uh, because of this uh, this one here it's one of the few minor settlements in the game that actually get walls Bring them death! Alright, well, this will be easy. You just need to get in there. Oh damn, how about that? I just went on Twitter and I can see that people are organizing the hot seat without me having to do anything. They're actually taking initiative. How about that? I'm really happy about that because it's like it's an automated system, which is good because that means there's less work for me. So Radiant Ash is going after me in about 30 minutes. This wasn't originally intended to be a hot seat, right? I just said to Radiant Ash when she popped in, Hey, if you want the save file, you can have it after I'm done. And she's like, yeah, I'll take it. And then Lemon Pledge is going to take it on after her. Cool. I'm, I'm proud of them for organizing with themselves that well. This is... A lot of people were asking a long time ago. Well, fairly recently, I suppose. You know, what was the point of that creator union? This is it. We are seeing more crea uh, creator collaboration now than we have in a really long time. And I think that... It's going to get to a point where there'll be collaborations happening without me having to sort of force it, which is good. But I really like that uh, we're getting like a new wave of creators that are extremely cooperative with each other, and it's really good. Generation 4, I guess, of uh, Total War YouTubers. Because there's... Each generation of Total War YouTubers kind of has a theme. 
Guess which generation of, of Total War YouTuber I am. I'll give you a clue. It's actually the most successful generation. <laughs> And each generation of Total War YouTube is kind of has a theme to them. Boomer? No, 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 like Gen 1, 2, 3, 4. I... Hey, I'm a fucking millennial! Yes, uh, most of you are right, I'm in Gen 2. So... Gen 2 came onto the scene roughly between 2010 and 2015. So I came in 2013. But Generation 1 are people like, um... Prince of Macedon, Lionheart, like old school, OG, um, Total War YouTubers. Heir of Carthage is a Gen, gen 1. So Gen 2s as an example, that's like me, Pixelated Polo, Jackie Fish I think is Gen 2, I'm not 100% sure. Alex the Rambler, well who is obviously not a Total War YouTuber anymore. And then you got like Gen 3, which is like Lawmaster of Sotek, um, Great Book of Grudges, those kind of guys. So Gen 3 is currently, usually, on average, sitting around between like um, 80 and, uh, between 40 and 80,000 subs. And then there's Gen 4. Gen 4 is new. This is like Dame Offensive, Most of the Mad, Lemon Pledge, Akoi's 3. Mm, Akoi could be. I'm not entirely sure. I think he might be Gen 3, yeah. Could be close to Gen 4. Indie Pride? Indie Pride's like Gen 1 or Gen 2. Indie Pride's been around for ages. Zerkovich? Uh, I think Zerkovich is, is uh, Gen 2. I think he's Gen 2. Like I said, there's some big hitters in Gen 2. <laughs> Is there any way to increase Vlad's speed? Yeah, he's got a few skills. He... 48 speed's not too bad for a foot soldier. But he's never going to be able to run as fast as a horse. like he's having a fight with Kruber. I'd like to see that in Vermintide. Them add vampires into the game. They've added Necromancer Sienna now. Add, um, add Undead as a new enemy. Because they added Beastmen oh, like years ago. I just saw the Dame Offensive started streaming it. I don't think she streamed Total War, but yeah. It's good to see her back, that's for sure. Well, she's not fully back. Do you feel like Siege Battles improved? No, they go backwards. Oh, okay, over the course of Total War Warhammer 3, maybe they're slightly better. Yeah, the, like, uh, credit where credit's due. Patch 4.0 did make Sieges better. Not by much, though. Also, this settlement here looks a lot like fucking Altdorf. <laughs> Pretty 
pretty much identical to Old Dorf. Oh, you'll you'll never fight in two different two same settlement more than whatever. Getting tired mincing my words. I remember Prince of Macedon on Rome Total War, was a really good player and great all-round guy. Yeah, I really like Prince of Macedon. Um, it's a shame what happened to him. Yeah. Alright, we own all of Reichland now, which I will now refer to as Vladland. I can't rename it. Altdorf shall now be renamed to... Vladdorf. Vladendorf? Yeah, Vladendorf. That sounds better. Isleheart shall be renamed to Vladheart. Ubersreich shall be named to Fuck Rats. <laughs> and Grunberg shall be named Vladberg. I am the Emperor. There we go. What happened to Prince Macedon? Prince, <laughs> Prince of Macedon, you mean? Um, well, he doesn't really cover Total War anymore. Uh, he got he got treated extremely unfairly by Creative Assembly, and uh, but it basically just isn't really part of the community anymore. It's a real shame. Yes, the von Karstein. All right, let's get on your death. I miss the D. Vladberg. Vladendorf. No, no, all the Ds are there. Yeah, more hit points would be good. Not like they ever really take a scratch. Good. Yeah, cancels him. No, that's not really what happened. Rename Vra Vlad Emperor Vlad Von. Ka I can't rename Legendary Lords. Yeah, I, you can't rename Legendary Lords or Legendary Heroes. This hasn't updated it properly, okay. Wait, is that his pillar? Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, Vladenorf, not Vladendorf. Right, 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 I see, yeah. 
Vlad, Vlad in Dorf. There we go. Forgot them double Ds. I can't believe I forgot the double Ds. Jeez. Alright, how are we going here? This is all looking good. Let's get the growth up in there. Reichland. Yeah, we don't need this anymore at Fuck Rats. Hopefully. Alright, let's get some... Yes. Okay, we can... Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to trade with Cathay, that's fine. We're not like I'm going to attack them anytime soon. Yes. Alright, how many settlements do we have? 19. I'll turn 19. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that, that's not too bad. It's a pretty quick expansion. So even though we sold him Karaberg, it's time to take it back. I can't do it this turn, but next turn. I might be able to force march Vlad here, and then the other army will attack, so I'm glad I've kept it there. Hmm, so I need more cash. How many armies do I have? Four, okay. Okay, you think you can move one tile over? And maybe one up here? No, that's... Okay. Because, yeah, I really hope I can launch the attack there next turn. That'll be good. Alright, let's move... Oh, hang on, there's a commandment. I think that's right, Clint needs... Yep, good. Alright, let's move on. And five hours for 19 turns, damn. That's normal, dude. It's normal. When you're playing on Legendary, unless you really suck at it, that's normal. If you're not fighting battles manually, you're gonna get through turns a lot quicker. Or if you're playing on lower battle difficulties. That's a big thing. A lot of people play on Legendary difficulty, and they play on like normal battle difficulty, and they can auto-resolve most of their battles because you get auto-resolve cheats. We can't do that with this campaign. Also, we got a lot of territory. Casting ring? Um... No, I'm not gonna worry about it. Third age stream, any chance? Uh, I wouldn't rule it out, but I also wouldn't hold your breath on it. Oh, rename the faction? I know what I'm gonna rename the faction to. Not watch while stream. Surprised to see you, Strigoi. Thought you didn't like them much. Yeah, in the late game, Bahane, I don't like them. But in the early game, they're very good. Oh no! I think I'm gonna take. Oh wait, are they gonna. What went after that? Oh shit, I thought they'd go for Eshin. Well, that's. Oh look, that's become visible. Uh, well, shit, okay, that's something. That. Okay. <clears throat> that's something. Not really a big deal, I guess. I was hoping to confederate them, but whatever. We discovered the Trickster's Cult. We can have a look at it, what they're doing there now. They must have parasitic buildings. Yeah, they're building parasitic stuff. So 4% chance to expand it. Discoverability. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Bye-bye. Stupid. <laughs> Alright, Vlad, are you able to make it? 
No, he. I thought he might have enough movement to make it to Karaburg, but he didn't. So. Vlad von Karstein. My hand. So here's the thing. I think we should leave him there for this turn, but have Vlad actually go back up this way. And find for him to be on Force March, because this guy can reach Isleheart that turn. Or Vladheart. Alright, so I said I was going to rename my faction. It's going to be called... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. No, I didn't have enough. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. <laughs> hey, we're red. We can claim Rome. Alright, we did have enough movement. I don't think we'll be able to order resolve. Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah. This should be fine. This is the one that didn't get the trait, right? Yeah. So that'd be good for him to get it. Uh, yeah, that's lazy. It's considering you probably have to fight him one more time. He hasn't leveled up since we last saw him. I'm pretty sure we stole an item from him. Oh, hang on. I've got an item that I could use here. What do you got? Potion of healing? You don't really need that, but... Take the Helm of Discord. And we'll have the other one grab Glittering Scales. And I need I need you to equip the Sword of Bloodshed because you got the highest melee attack. I need you to be able to smack smack that that Ungram. Okay, then I need this push and healing. Probably don't need it. Whatever, just grab it. Arcane item. None of them are good. Okay. Hang on, what's going on with this area here? Is it bad in Winds of Magic as well? Yeah. Let's we'll see if he wants peace. I have no time for such filth. Also, uh, Eshin is going to need defenses. Do not mistake They're not going to be able to reach it this turn, but definitely need to put in another army there. Oh, if only Vlad could just reach a little bit further. We could launch the attack, but yeah, he just he can't. Because I need I need some money. I need to get rid of that other bloody army. We've got the defenses there now, don't we? Yeah, so... It seems unlikely that Toddy would make an attack with that, so maybe we don't need this army after all. But I would want Vlad to be able to just push on through here, yeah, so... We need to move quick. Alright. Fucking... Uh, whatever. These freaking grindy-ass battles. Alright, here we go. Slayer Hero is something the dwarves really need. Yeah, I'd, I'd be down to Slayer Hero. The problem with the Slayer Hero, though, is that they, they would fill a role that is already in the game. So, Melee Hero, they've already got that. So what have they got? They've got Melee Hero, they've got Spellcaster Hero, and they've got Support Hero. What are they missing? Growth Hero? Could you... Could you... Could you get, like... Sisters of Vallejo or something? Or like a Wren? 
as a hero, and it has like a, a growth effect on provinces. Because, you know, that's pretty much what they do. Alright, we need to wait for our reinforcements. Slay hero could be training, growth, could be more like assassin hero, maybe. Alright, how are we going to go about this? I reckon if we want them to come at us, I'm going to need to get this wizard to use... Penumbral Pendulum down the line. That'll force them to come at us. The reason why we want them to come at us is to separate their artillery so we can take it out. Don't get too close. Come on. Ungrim somehow managed to take one damage. Already. Don't know how we managed that. Right, that'll, I suppose, get them to come at us. At once. Swiftly. Go again. We are oh, bitch, they dodged it, motherfuckers. It's fine. Alright, now we need... Oh, they're sending their entire army to chase after this one. Need them to target the bats. Alright. Okay. We need to put down some zombies in front of the miners here so they use up their ammunition on summons rather than our actual troops. The artillery is gone at very low cost, so that's good. We're going to melee with this one, they might use it. I don't know, maybe. Otherwise I'll pin them down and then charge in. Time to charge. It's not really a charge, but it'll do. Okay, I need to get these guys over here. We've got to take out the Iron Drake. That's so important. So let the Iron Drake shoot. That's doing a bit of damage, but nothing, nothing as much as what they could potentially do.
Good. Another missile unit taken out relatively cheaply. Alright, now these two here need to go sort out Ungram. That's a pretty nice line, I'll take that. Oh shit! Oh shit! Come on, man. Why are you fighting Ungrim? Of all the fuckers to fight Ungrim, you are not one of them. Get out of there. <laughs> get out of there. Jeez, get out of there. You two, get in there. Yeah, he's fine. He'll be fine. He was just having a bit of a laugh. What a dipshit. <laughs> Alright, everything else looking fine now. He'll be fine. Alright. That's annoying. Oh, that's the last of my magic. Good, Ungrim's going down way faster this time. That's what we want to see. Oh, you guys are done over there. Nice. Come over here. Send them back to ground. Their time has come. Now. I healed her, not him. Okay, well that was dumb, but at least he's healing on his own, so it's okay. As long as he lives, it doesn't matter. I'm say he's max healing. <laughs> what kind of charge was that? Oh, you dumbass. Come on, dumbass. Get you out of there. Shit. Get out of that. Oh my god. Is that just sitting there or is that actually shooting at us? We got him. Everywhere is death. Now oh, that's crumbling away. We've inflicted the army losses. We just need to get rid of the last few slayers, which is not many left. That's definitely better than what Order Resolve yielded. Much better. But looks like we took some damage. Good. And with Ungrim not being able to level up and our guys keeps getting stronger and stronger, he's going to stand less and less chance every time he fights us. Who's your favorite historical military commander? General Tao. <laughs> nah. Um. No, Scipio Africanus is my favorite. I always liked him the best. Shame about that. 
dire wolf. But luckily, <laughs> death really doesn't mean much for the uh, vampire counts. Hey, do you like me? Why, 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 why? Don't you want to go to war with Carrot Kedrin? No. This is this is a typical vampire account experience. You take out one enemy and then you meet the next one and they're like, I hate you. It's like, oh great. Why, why do you hate me? What did I ever do to you? Uh, no, okay, so we need to be recruiting troops over here. Yeah, Lamia will be fine. Just everything we've got. Because there's a lot coming. Shit. This night, I hunt. Hmm. Well, it's not going to hit us next turn. Or well, this turn. Yes. Okay, we've got another blood kiss we can spend. What's going to help us the most in the coming few turns? Growth, uh, not growth, casualty replenishment rate will definitely help. Strigoi, ambush success chance, research rates, weapon strength for cavalry. I think casualty replenishment rate is probably the most universally useful one, so let's grab that. I need some money. Has anyone got some money for me? Come on, your emperor needs money. The nation calls. Oh shit! Didn't it actually close to? Acknowledge that even Nagash could not better my law, and then we may speak. No, we defeat you on the battlefield, and you'll peace out because you're a little bitch. Especially if I call in Draco to come and fight you. Did you say Cetra? Look, you're my vassal. Give me money. Only Sigma's god Ulrich can judge it worthy. Can get? I can get two hundred off them, it seems. But that's it. I will. Michael Joyce did a five euro super chat. Cheers, legend, for the great vids. Just watched your Slayers campaign from three years ago. Nice to see you're now killing slayers. Oh, is it? Yeah, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? Thanks for the super chat. Uh, we need more skellies. Bow, for you are in the presence of. Hmm. What about if you this gave me a peace treaty? No. no. Hmm. The Empire. All right. All right. Let's instead talk to the people that like us the most and have a look the at what Empire. wars they're in. Could I borrow one of your armies? You want me to fight? Yeah, I can do that. The Empire. Pretty close. But yeah, if I could just get him to come and defend my territory a little bit, that'd be good. Um, what am I looking for? That's right, I was looking here. People that like us. Stolen likes us the most. Argwalon. They're at war with the same people as us. Western provinces. Oh, here we go, here we go. Let's declare war on the Jiangxi rebels. Oh, yeah. It's not much, but I need all I can get. And Lazargs, sure, why not? It's not much. I'll take it. Northern provinces. You want me to go to war with Puppets of Mist? No. Company. Clan Eshin, Blessed Dread. Indeed. There we go. A boon to the I don't think the Blessed Dread are going to bother us. Okay, we got some more money now. You dare. Hmm. Against vampire counts, direwolves are not very useful. We'll see how we go with that. Undeath ascendant. Mm. I'll probably need regiments of renown. But I don't think they're going to attack over the next turn because they're they're sitting around over here. They're just not gonna be able to reach that far, I don't think. A pact will be placed. 
And we've also got defenses in Eshin itself. Not heaps, but it's better than nothing. Try selling Helm Guard again. Oh, I uh, oh, okay. No, they don't want it. What about Orion? Undead cretin. Your witch scent is anathema to the forest. No. They don't want it. Uh, well, definitely. I don't think he's going to declare war on us now because he's a little bit busy dealing with Orion. And Orion hates us. He might declare war on us. That could happen. Alright, let's just get through this turn. And we can hand this over to Radiant Ash. I kind of have a feeling like a defeat is coming this turn. But it's going to be like hitting me somewhere I'm not expecting. Like these guys are going to roll in and do something. We'll keep the money there. Because we may need it. Alright. Is Radiant Ash there? Is she here? Well, there goes Averland. You have zero defeats? No. Now we took some defeats against the um, the changeling in the early stage of the campaign, but it was fine because it spelled his downfall. They were tactical defeats, but strategic wins. It ultimately didn't cost us anything. Well, one Strigoi. Calabaclan's falling to pieces. She has her stream waiting already with a thumbnail in minutes. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll just get through this and I'll just email it to her and then she... Oh, there she is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're just going to get through this turn. Everything looks like it's pretty good. I'll just run through all the potential issues. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, they're not... E they're not even... Okay. <laughs> okay. Looks like you've got a good opportunity here to actually take their territory. Yeah, I was hoping to confederate them, but that didn't really pan out. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so here are the issues. I was poised to strike at Boris Toddbringer, because Boris doesn't friggin' time. like us. And as the Emperor, that's not good enough. Also, we're now called the Unholy Roman Empire. Hehehe. <laughs> Um, you need to rush at Karak Kadrin immediately. We just took out Ungram. Don't let him get back. You've got everything you need here to take it out. Just rush over there. Get rid of it. Like, force march here. There shouldn't be any... There should be a general in there. And that's it. So rush over there and take him out immediately. Uh, I expect that they're going to declare war. These ones here, they're a bit busy. Actually, it looks like um, Crooked Moon is going to win over... Thorgrim, which is pretty common, that's fine. This is probably going to be an issue, so I would advise maybe a little bit of diplomacy with them, um, Barak Far. You are stronger than them, but th that is probably going to be a concern. The worst thing that can happen, I can't take you this turn, is that they come down here and capture undefended territory, really. Uh, but Sterland is your ally. These guys here should be able to be um, uh, obtained soon, next few turns. But yeah, what I'm gonna, what I want, what I think you should do is use this army to attack here. Vlad reinforces, but then push up this way quickly so that you can capture Viesman. Take out Reichland quickly because they're smashed. They're absolutely smashed. And of course, once you're out here, you're probably best fighting out Festus. He's a bit busy fighting Taylor Backland, and you get it from there. There's a lot going on. All right, I'm going to pass the save file along. Just give me a moment. Oops. There it is. Okay, save file sent. Cool. All right, now we'll set up the host.
But yeah, really appreciate the support today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this campaign. I actually had fun. I, I wasn't expecting to enjoy a vampire ca campaign this much, but I did. I enjoyed it. And it has turned into another hot seat, which I guess that's good. Okay, it's probably best if we wait until the live stream actually goes live before I chuck over the host, or else it might not work properly. So I'll just need to wait for Ash to just hit the go on it. Okay. Yep, it's live. Okay, cool. Alright guys, really appreciate the support, and I will see you guys in a live stream probably in about three days. I'm not going to be able to live stream tomorrow or the next day. Just got stuff in real life going on. Uh, which is why I did two streams in a row. Again, really appreciate all the support. Hope you guys enjoyed it, 